Hey, what's going on, ecosystem? Uh, welcome back to ATI, the Car Should Be Business Channel. We're live at NIADA Convention and Expo 2022. Of course, my name is Jay. I'm your host. But uh, what's going to happen here? And I've got uh, I, I can hear him live in my ear right now. You can see that we are looking at a we're at a, we're at the NIADA Convention and Expo, and we've got we've got a media room slot. There's the stage, and Ty right now is lining up. Uh, he's off camera with uh, Bob Voltman, the CEO of NIADA. And also we've got Jeff Ballant, managing editor of Used Car News. And um, and then we're going to be live into... We've got several things going on today. After we get done here, um, we're going to move on to... We've got an interview with Work Truck Solutions on the expo floor, booth 575. And then after that, we're going to be back at the Used Car News booth 549 with Ed Curry, NIADA. Uh, then from about noon to 1, Ty's going to be walking around the expo floor going live. Uh, then we got a interview with eBlock in booth 356. And then we're going to wrap up. We're going to be live for, I don't know, like the next three hours. So there's a lot to do. So Ty, whenever you're ready, and now... Ty, you know where the camera is, and I don't know if we can get every... Can we get everybody up? Yeah, right, that's perfect. That's perfect. That is perfect. And I'll tell you what. If we can... I'm talking to Ty off camera. Okay, here we go. Hey, yeah, let's go. Let's do, let's do. Okay, yeah. there is... There's a shot. Now, Ty, do me a favor. Yeah. Um, oh, do me a favor. Can you walk the way. camera and table a little closer to stage because it seems a little far away? But you can sure. just start if you uh, want to. Either one. Sorry, Bob. One second. All right, I got a little producer second, problem okay, here. So we're doing. <laughs> we're doing station identification live with ATI, NIADA Convention and Expo. All right, here we go. Here's Ty with Bob Voltman, CEO of NIADA. Ty, please take it away. Thank you so much. Kevin and Eric were here, awesome. and and, and um, but then I brought in Roberta, and the AV team is ours. It's in the big room. I brought them with. I brought them with me because um, they're just phenomenal. They come out of upstate New York. Oh wow! Yeah. So Bob, Ty Thompson, nice to meet you. ATI, Colleen, News Car News. Colleen helped us get here. Thanks. You helped us get here. I mean, I know that, but you guys have been very kind to us. So thank you. You're welcome. And Bob, you're thank the you for being here. You're the CEO of. NIADA. That's a big, big title. So I'm really honored to be talking to you. Uh, I'm curious, what? It, how did you get to that spot? So my whole career has been in uh, government affairs and trade associations and mostly working with entrepreneurs. Okay. And so I was looking to um, get back working with small entrepreneurs again. Mm -hmm. uh, the, my last association, I'd had great success. Um, <clears throat> grew phenomenally uh, but that industry was changing wall street had gotten involved mm -hmm. and started gobbling them up and they went from being entrepreneurs mm -hmm. to being middle managers right and it's like nope i'm done I'm done with that uh, so i was looking to get back to that heart and soul mm -hmm. of people who know their business mm -hmm. personal relationship with their customers right. know their mind mm -hmm. and can make decisions and have big and that's exactly what I found here at NIDA. Wow, that's a big deal. So you you were a uh, presidential nominee. Back interstate. I was. was interstate. Commission. I was um, presidential appointee in the George H.W. Bush administration. I worked in the office of a commissioner at the then Interstate Commerce Commission, wow. uh, which regulated uh, trucking, railroad, and pipelines. Trucking, railroad, and pipelines. Okay. And... and uh, near shore shipping so shipping to our territories in uh, puerto rico and oddly enough even shipping between the united states and alaska is and hawaii is regulated trade still oh wow no idea so so that was the background and that maybe was one of the reasons is that what you're kind of saying well, I, 30, kind of... I spent 33 years in washington oh impacting wow. public policy um, so you know how to run a trade association 
love working with entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. I know how to impact policy. And I've also been on the governing board of an international organization. So I've had in, I've had um, an amazing career in, in the ability to have also impacted international policy. So it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> well, but good. I'm having a blast. <clears throat> being here with these guys well and so one of the things i tell people is I, I started my transport company with a little truck and three-car trailer and in about five years i had 20 of them brand new and part of that experience was the dealer so when i started i had no idea what car hauling was i, didn't, I knew how to maybe drive a truck but the reality of it is is what i tell people the car dealer the independent car dealer is who taught me business the business of it. And so when you say stuff like entrepreneur and I say stuff like local dealers are heavily invested in local community. Mm -hmm. So because of our channel and because of what we do, we have a lot of people that are wanting to come into business, transportation, transport cars. So what we do is we say, love the dealer, get to know the dealer. Mm -hmm. We're talking about business strategy. What's the market? Is there a market for that? And so as things have been changing that we've seen huge change for the independent dealer when they shut the auction that had a huge impact where we're from on the independent dealer who would every week Absolutely. go to the same auction so trying to find this relationship is valuable for us because we get to see and educate the car hauling community how to better serve the dealer mm -hmm. so that's why we're excited to be here is because i love the dealer i really do i get excited about it they're great so, and and small can beat big yeah every day of the week but you have to play somewhat of their game. You also have to approach it from a different way. David beat Goliath, not by putting on heavy armor and a big sword, mm -mm. but by remaining who he was. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, my favorite book title is not the big that eat the small, it's the fast that eat the slow. Exactly. And that's where we're at. So one of the things I want, I know I'm going to let you go. We're going to wrap it up pretty quick. I know you got things groups. to do, and thank you again. Is uh, 20 Groups. What talk, can you talk about that? 20 groups are the best thing a dealer can do. Okay. Um, and we can meet them wherever they are in their journey, mm -hmm. however much time they have. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's that peer to peer. So we all have, we all need peers in our lives mm -hmm. um, to help us to talk through challenges. And when you're with a group on a 20 group, they become your, your de facto board of directors. They get to know you, you get to know them, you share things with each other and you can talk. That's a, it's a trusted relationship. It exists in all kinds of industries. There's the Young Professionals Organization, YPL. Mm -hmm. uh, there's Vistage. Um, these guys need, we all need that. I'm involved in um, several association executive organizations because I need to talk about this business. Mm -hmm. um, there's an aspect, in my opinion, of accountability. It, it, accountability, we heard John Tapper say, the person you need to be accountable to is the person you see in the mirror. There you go. And, but it's also then you need other people to hold you accountable. Yeah. Our wives hold us accountable. Yeah. Um, our children hold us accountable. Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't our, some, a trusted group of peers also mm -hmm. hold us accountable? I'm just, or, I'm sorry, I just, I just, one more thing real sure. quick. The dealer mall, dealer auto mall. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about that? It's going to be. It's a big deal. So, in our strategic, so when I came on board, mm -hmm. put a strategic plan in place mm -hmm. to talk to the, the the members, the board, the state executives, what they liked, what they didn't like, what they wanted, what they hoped for, and one of that was consumer impacting opportunity for NIDA members. Mm. That's what Dealer Mall brings us begins to bring about. A consumer facing portal for these guys, only NIDA members, to sell vehicles with our logo on them. Wow, that's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. Well, listen, I really appreciate your time. I'm happy to be here, and I'm going to let you go because I know you got to get. Great. So thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thanks. Thank you Thanks, Jay. so much, Bob. Wow, that was amazing. It was we really good. do. All right. I appreciate it. Great job, Todd. <laughs> so, I keep back to camera one. one. So, we're live at NIADA Convention and Expo 2022 in Las Vegas.
and Ty just had a sit-down meeting with Bob Voltman. He's the CEO of NIADA. That was wonderful. So, uh, talk oh. just real quick. I got Michael. Yes, we got Michael Grauber. Michael's back. That's Perfect. Michael's, Michael's Motors. Yeah, Jay, you can't see Jay. Hey, Michael. Uh, Thank you so hey, much. Jay. Yeah, coming back on, um, you were last, you did something. It was either last night. And I ran into you again today, and you, you learn, you keep learning stuff. Oh, my God. Nonstop. Nonstop. And you're going somewhere next, right? Where are you going? I got next? an interview for the nomination for the dealer, quality dealer award next. So, yeah, a and that's a big deal. I wanted to, I know he was busy. And I wanted to ask him more about that. We talked a little bit about it, but you're, this, that they come in and they quiz you, right? I think so. Like yeah. a checklist. And maybe don't, you don't know it. You're yeah. You're checking off. Oh, I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, all I know is how to be a good person and a quality car dealer. <laughs> so, how many people are nominated? Uh, 12 for the, for the nation. Okay, and when do we find out who won? Thursday night they have a big award ceremony, Thursday night. so that should be uh, exciting. I'm thinking you're, you're going to win. That would be wonderful, but if I don't, I'm happy to just be nominated. I'm just curious, what what happens with the award? You obviously get some kind of recognition trophy. National recognition, maybe a trophy. That's yeah. probably it. That's good. Yeah, it's all It's a big deal, though, because this is really, I've, I've never, this is my first time in IADA. No, I did not realize how many dealers are here. There's a lot. 2,000, they said. 2,000. So that's big time. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting. All right. Well, thanks. Good to thanks see you. Thanks for having me. You're the man. We'll be in New Jersey. Don't Good you worry. Good to see you, Jay. All right. Hey, thanks, Thanks, Michael. guys. Thank you so much. Right. Awesome. Great job. Okay, yeah. So that's our yeah, friend yeah. Michael Graubert. Um, got a bunch of links in the live chat. So, Ty, so what are you thinking? Ty, how are you doing right now? That was cool. You did great, man. Uh, they, well, it's easy to do great when you got a cool guy. I mean, I just met him. Uh, you and I looked him up on LinkedIn just a few minutes ago. Great history. Got a lot of connections, a lot of pull. I think uh, I, I wasn't nervous. I, maybe I should have been. But well, that's, see, didn't that's get a too thing. nervous. You do a good job of you know on the fly um say no hello <laughs> yeah no that was really really a great job that was awesome man that was good okay um i'm not sure if you're ready to go to the oh, uh yeah, xo x exhibit yet there we go check check all right so well um uh, we can do whatever we want we have a work truck solutions interview at one so we have 20 minutes we could do anything you think is interesting. This we're gonna call this. We have Ty's time here. We're live with Ty, and we can do whatever we want. Ty's time. Who's our man right here? Yeah, Remember there Anthony? We go. Hey, what, hey, Anthony! Ty, I told you, yes, said, awesome. It's Ty's time, and you walk up. Oh, no, yes, no. awesome, <laughs> man. Talk uh, to us for right a minute. Now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. You got a so, second? Uh, I have a second. I, How long have you been here? I just walked in. So that's why I hadn't seen you until now. That's right. And Rapid Recon, what are you doing? Well, I'm speaking tomorrow. You are? Yeah. Where? Uh, here, somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. Road, yeah, with the... Uh, uh, Jay, did you hear that? I did not know that. So what's he talking about? Well, before we go talking about, why don't you and I, while we're live, decide if we can maybe make it and catch some of the show. What time? Okay. Yeah. Promote it. Rapid what Recon, time? what time? Uh, yeah, I'll look it up and let you know. I know it's tomorrow morning. Uh, we have tomorrow morning. Or you can get okay. it. Yeah. I'll do it after that. Yeah. I would love to come and do that. So what are you going to talk about? Well, just reconditioning and the importance of keeping it internal. Uh, you know, it's the same kind of stuff we talk about. On the uh, show? Yeah, the All show. Right, very which cool. Is, <clears throat> that's why great, My independent viewers man. need rapid recon. Not independent. There's, I've met a guy, an attorney. There's attorneys in here. Do you oh, know yeah. that? Yeah, a lot there's of, a lot of uh, risk management here. Yeah, there's yeah. Troy. Ty's time. Um, that's tomorrow at 10... I got it on my We're going to find out. Yeah, let's look it up. App. Yeah, you got the app. I got the app. Let's, I think it's also on my camera. Oh, it's on his camera. They're here. looking You're it up get... live on the app Anthony. on NIADA is... app. Ty's time. Ty's time. <laughs> Ty's time. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ty's time. No, you I saw you cross through. I didn't mean to like anybody. No, 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 it's no, perfect. This, we just got done we interviewing the CEO this. of NIADA. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. crazy. Old Ty, the truck guy. Got to sit down with the CEO of NIADA. And I'll tell you, amazing. sitting on stage, the way that I loved the way it looked. There I am. It's good. It was so great. 
That was awesome. Oh, I have my glasses on. So sure, what's happening uh, here, camera one? So Anthony, our friend Anthony test. from so Rapid Jay, Recon. So, uh, tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, 9.45 9 Pacific time. 9 to 9.45. Uh, Boulevard, Boulevard. Uh, 161 and 162. So wherever I'll that find is. the Boulevard. Okay. Well, one, uh, oh, Boulevard right here. Yeah. Down here. Let's go Great. check it out. Oh, let's go yeah, let's out. check oh, yeah. it out. Let's go look at it. Yeah, there's the Boulevard. So as we, you know, as you know, when you're at a convention, Right, like there's hallways, the there's yeah, sessions, yeah, there's right? the expo hall, um, and then in Vegas there's you know casino machines. You got the Starbucks, the elevators, the people, the nightlife, the tigers. It's, it's Vegas. Which one? This is one sixty one to one. Oh, we might have to go back over it. And that's what I love about Vegas. They do it so you go in and you're screwed. <laughs> no turning back, man. You got to spend your money. That's no, right. For sure that. <laughs> you go walk in and you're like, I think I'm done. And dead end, give me money to turn around. Swipe the machine, hit the slots. Yeah. So he's in <laughs> Boulevard Room 161, huh? 161. We're going to see it. Uh, the reason, I think there's in maybe another Boulevard. Seems like it should have been that other way. Is. Oh, you found yeah. it? Yeah. Now, this is fun because we get to walk through. No, that's part of it. Get the lay of the land. You always got to get used to it. And you can always tell who's been there before. They know exactly where to go. Like when we go when we go to Red Rock, we know where we're going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Holy cow, dude. Oh, okay, here we go. This is different. I haven't been here. 61. Oh, and look. This is where we're going to be, guys. Oh, okay. Nice room. Nice. Yeah, that's good. That looks like that's where um, NAAA might, was yesterday, maybe. Something like that. Yeah, no. Same idea, yeah. Yeah, same idea. Okay, Thank cool. You. That's a nice room. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, so, at that time in the morning, we won't be live yet, but Ty, you could be snapping photos. Are you going to have uh, anybody on the stage or is it just you by yourself? No, well, I'm on a panel. Your uh, panel, okay. Yeah, oh, so, panel. got a panel. For the guys again. Uh, Ed French. Ed French. Oh, Ed French. Yeah. So, Ed French. We know Ed. Sure. Uh, yeah, that's great. He uh, actually used to be a rep in the house, and he was out at, uh, oh, it's not the Ford dealer out in, um, here with our Ohio, I think. And so he's a, he's a pretty big addict to the part of the software. So, yeah, he's a, uh, uh, How are you? Come here, you want to say hi to my friend Jay? Yeah, come on. Hello there. Come hey, on. Hey, how What's you doing? Name? Greg. You see Jay? Here. Hey, Greg. Greg, you said hi. You can't hear him because he's in I, my ear. I know. What do you do? Where are you from? I'm a dealer. Hang on. Where? I'm Greg a is a dealer. Dealer. I dealer. Got to ring the bell. Oh, you're my favorite. Okay. What's the name of the dealership? We have a YouTube. What is the name of your dealership? Dixon Motors. Dixon Motors. We're out in Houston. Houston. Dixon. We're put it in our live chat. Dixon Motors. Spell out of Houston. Yeah. How do you spell it? D I X O N. D I X O N. Ah, Dixon Motors. Put him on the screen, show. Sure. Out of Houston. Is it Greg Zach? Greg Zach? Greg Zach. Greg Zach. Got it. I just can I'm just sending you a connection. Dixon Motors. There we go. That's how we roll. Yeah. We, we, have to have glass we, glass. we connect live. Okay, so we oh, here connect. we go. We All right, here we go. And we here comes dealership. the dealership website. There we go. Boom. There we are. Bang. You? Dixon Motors yeah, out of Houston. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. All right, there we go. Yeah. So tell us more. Tell us Any more news? About your yeah. How long have you been there? So, uh, well, the dealership has been around since 1963. We've been at the same location for about 25 years, maybe. 25 years. Wow. I've got to get this thing to hold on. Hey, Jay, can you put us back? Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I can't see. Can't control the camera. Okay. 60. Since 1963. Okay. Now, anyway. you've been at this location for 25 years? About 25 years. How many do you usually keep on your lot? Average. I know it's that's clear with that. Today, yeah. With today's market, it's changed. Today, I understand. 25, unfortunately. But what I like, so I, I come from dealer, and that's so as a vendor transport guy, yeah. I want to do business with you. The yeah. way it worked for me was is traditionally the guy goes to the same two, three auctions every week, buys a load of cars, yeah. calls Ty, Ty, get him back home now. Yeah. Hurry up. Yeah. And that's what I learned. Yeah. This is a melting block of ice, this yeah. asset. Yeah. So the more I communicate with you, 
the more you communicate with me, the faster you get your cars. Yeah. That used to be a big deal. It still is a big deal. Yeah. But what I'm hearing from some of my guys used to have 50, 100 cars. Yeah. It's about half. But they found a way to still maintain profit. Is yeah. That, is that what you're seeing? Yeah. Are you still making money? So, yeah. Good. What day we? Yeah. <laughs> So are y'all a uh, are y'all a broker or a dispatcher? What are you? No, we're a medium auto, marketing. We're a car shipping business channel. So we come from the transportation background, and yep. what we've seen is the transport guys have a very difficult time understanding how to serve a dealer. Yeah, you're a service provider, so you need to understand how can I serve you. Yeah. And so what we get because of Jay, my buddy, who built yeah. this channel, he's the founder. We have people literally every day. Guy, I want to be a transport guy. Yes. Yeah. What do I need? How does it work? Yeah. So with things changing, technology, people think. My answer is always go talk to the car dealer mm -hmm. and ask him, do you need somebody to transport your cars? Seems yeah. pretty simple yeah. to me. Yeah. But because of technology, maybe generations, people don't want to talk to people anymore. They just yeah. want to load board, central dispatch. I'm sure you've heard yeah. that. Yeah, I use them. You use them. You say you're buying a car somewhere or selling a car somewhere. You put it on the load yeah. board. Yeah. How's that working out for you? So it works pretty well. No problems? Yeah. Pretty easy? Yeah. <laughs> Because we call Central Dispatch kind of like the mucho labre transport. It's just like a, ooh, right? You yeah. never know what you're going to get. Yeah. And uh, I mean, occasionally you get a transporter, which I just had one here uh, over here in this last month. I had a car in the uh, repossessed uh -huh. in Mississippi. And oh, how'd that go? It took me the third transport guy to find a good car. Why? You know, yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Right. The... No, I don't know what happened. Right. It happens. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, second Was guy. Enough? Same thing. Oh, I'll get it. Yeah, I'm going to be right there. I'm going to get it because I've already got another car. Oh, we're get on the second guy. First guy. <laughs> yeah. Second guy. Where are you? Where are you? Third guy. I can't believe he did that. No, the second guy told me, I can't, I can't believe, I can't believe that first guy yeah. did that. <laughs> no, I would never do that. Well, you just did it too. You did it too, yeah. So the third guy, I finally got a car. But, I mean, you know, that doesn't happen that often. Maybe um, once a year. So maybe. I'm well, curious, where, how, are, how has buying inventory changed? I mean, I'm assuming you used to be an auction guy or had a buyer. Is that fair? Uh, I pretty much have done the buying. Mine, yeah. So, and it's physically at an auction? Yeah, I prefer that still. Yeah. We talk to a lot of guys that prefer that. No. I'm an auction guy. I love the auction. Physical auction. I do it because you can see it, smell it, and taste it. You know what I do it? Because I'm a relationship guy. Yeah. And I like to meet people. I like yeah. to know what are you up to? How are you doing? Well, and it also, too, when you get to know the seller. The seller? Yeah. There's a relationship. Exactly. Well, and they I'm, tell me, say, uh, yeah, they'll tell me, Greg. No, no one knew that one. That happens. So they tell me that. That's real. It is a relationship. It's That's like relationship. I've had a relationship with them 10 years, 15 years. Buying their stuff, and they know me, I know them. They hey, they know that hey, I'm a good buyer. I bought tons of beer from over the years, so you might know I trust it. Uh, Rich Levin, is that did I say that right, Jay? He was the GM, I think. Oh, Rich Adessa. Levine, Rich Levine, he was Rich a Levine. GM of Odessa. wrote the book. I don't remember if that was Houston, though. Was that Houston where we did that video one day? Uh, anyway, so auctions, I'm a big fan of auctions, yeah. the relationship with auction dealers. You yeah. send cars there that you don't. Whatever. Yeah. Host sell units, uh, trades. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you do? Buy here, pay here? Yeah. 100%. I do. 100 percent I love buy here, pay here. Yeah. Those are my biggest accounts. Yeah. My best accounts. Because uh, what we used to do is we would go to the auction, pick up all the buy here, pay here, yeah. you know, load or more, bring them to the recon center. Yeah. Unloaded. While we're there, load up and take it to one of the other 20 stores they got around yeah. the 300 mile yeah. radius. And when we drop those off, we pick up the repos and bring them back. Yeah, yeah. So re buy here, pay here has always been my favorite. Yeah. I yeah. love that business. And I even, is that all you've done primarily? 100%. 100%. Great. Good deal. It's always good with that. Oh, uh, yeah. That's awesome. I've I always just thought, well, let's step over into the, the retail market. Yeah. Um, yes. 
it's hard to make those you know, work on the same lot. A retail and a buy your yeah, yeah, operation. Right. It's tough to make it work. No, no. You get the nice shiny, you know, apple over here. And, well, I need to. You really qualify for this? Yeah. You don't qualify for this. Sorry, but so you qualify for this. Yeah. Well, but I want that. If I can't, if I can't get that, then I don't yeah. want anything. I'm out of here. Yeah, I know. And I'm like, well, but you qualify you, for a lot of vehicles over here. We'll get you that. No, that's not what I want. You just got to go one, pick one, and do do really well at one. Yeah. So. Now, uh, a lot of the buy here, pay here guys, have, it might be called like uh, buy here, pay here center. And that's the name of the lot. Yeah. Yeah. But then there might be buy here, pay here center financing, which is a subsidiary of that dealership, yeah. is the finance arm of that. So I've heard of companies like CAC. Uh, do you, how do you do your buy here, pay, buy here, pay here financing? Do you use a third party? Lender, or do you do in house? In house. In house. Okay, great. So we learn about floor plans. We learn about all these things. And yeah. So yeah. we don't know much. So we're just asking questions. But as we go, the point is, is you need transport. Yeah. Or it plays a role, even if you have 25 cars. Yeah. Can't get away from it. So I appreciate your time, and it was yeah. awesome to meet you. You bet. We'll talk again. I'm sure. All right. Thanks. Have a great evening. Fantastic. Thank you so much. That was really. Ty, yeah. I love when you talk about buy here, pay here. Um, yeah. You have a lot of insight in the buy here, pay here. Now, for anybody, hey, do 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 us a favor, Ty. Anybody watching that doesn't know what buy here, pay here is, go. Uh, buy here, pay here, we might call it subprime. Uh, I like to define it so people really understand it easier, which is I don't have money. I do have a job, and I need a car to get to my job. My credit's not good. I've made a lot of bad choices financially, personally, individually, however you want to say it. But I really am trying to clean my life up and I need a car today. So buy here, pay here. Uh, what was the guy's name we just talked to? Was it Greg Bill? Zach? Greg? Greg Zach, Dixon Motors. Greg. Greg, okay. So we talked to Greg. Greg's figured out buy here, pay here is his niche, right? And it is a niche business. And you really got to know what you're doing. You don't just wake up one day and say, I'm going to be a buy here, pay here guy. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, that's, you and that, actually, so that's a, that, you know what? That's an in interesting point. Where'd you get that idea? Let's play. Where did you get that idea? No doubt. <laughs> exactly. You know, and I was thinking yesterday, I don't remember who we were talking to. I think it might've been Michael, the guy that wrote the book, Michael. Yeah. Um, I was Michael thinking, York, you know, Michael York. Yeah. I bet if we started looking on YouTube, we would find YouTube videos on how to start a car dealership. Ooh. You know? And I was thinking, so I thought far that I was like, okay, here's what ATI does. Here's what Jay does. Here's what Ty does. Um, would it, is there a whole nother out there of just dealers? Does that well, make sense? And I'll tell you what, I've seen some YouTube videos of guys that buy cars at auctions and you know they're hit or miss i think you and i have watched some oh cool yeah. so what are we at where are we now we're in like a food court yeah it's the entrance to the exhibit hall and i'm thirsty and they have fresh drinks out here that are oh, cold heck yeah so what i've done is i've just gotten a free cold a lemonade drink and it looks like a lemonade yeah that remember our nice. buddy's uh patriot uh, asset Chad. By Chad. the way, hey, oh yeah, and you just reminded me, we've got work truck solutions in eight minutes. So after you cool off, we're going in the expo hall and we're headed over to booth. We're gonna go to booth uh, 575. Okay. We're gonna talk to Jerry. Uh, if you're joining us live, okay. So um, Ty is just cooling off in the uh, in the cool off lounge right outside the exhibit hall and the speaking area and um we've got an interview coming up more truck solutions just, sorry, interviews coming up in seven minutes oh here chad, hey buddy you guys remember chad you remember jay what's up How you doing? everywhere we go we run into chad chad That's is true. patriot asset I'm mr patriot mr patriot, mr. patriot. This is again relationship building. Okay, we've met two, three times. Yeah, maybe, at least just three. three. Yeah, yeah. So this time we're like, hey, high fiving it and hugs and all kinds of crazy stuff. So am I gonna be on TV one day with you guys? Right now, you are. Oh, we're I live. am. Yeah, you're, you're doing it. You don't even know right, you're well, doing. Tell whoever's on there, come see me in booth one seventy. One seventy. We'll swing by. I'm going to sell. So. All right, buddy. All right. Get after I it. just sent him a connection, and we will connect with Chad. 
at Patriot Automotive Consulting. Yeah, um, we're gonna go to work, Bruce. I know we're going. I'm yeah, no, I, no, you're good. You're good. You're fine. Sometimes waiting is where it's really at. Well, I, I hear you. No, we're totally good. So I love it. We're on track. We've had we met some interesting folks already. Uh, back to camera one. We started out the show. We met uh, with Bob Voltman. He's the CEO of NIADA. We talked to Michael Graubert of Michael's Motors. Uh, Anthony Greenhalch at Rapid Recon. Then we got a chance to talk to Greg Zach of Dixon Motors. He's a buy here, pay here. This is what the convention's all about. That's why we do this. Um, I'm back in Mission Control in Studio One. Ty is live, and right now he's outside the exhibit hall. Watch this. I'm going to see if I can score that. a free t-shirt. Oh, and we got a lot of, yeah, we got a lot of CDK Global swag. Let's, let's CDK see if we can. CDK Global swag. Are you guys CDK giving out Global. t-shirts? We are not, really? sorry. You just oh, put them out so you can look at them? What are others? These are cooling towels. Cool what's, what's, cool what's a cooling towel? Oh, it's a cooling towel. It's a cooling towel. Okay. I just stand around on water in the cold. I just stand around a lot. People wrap around their neck. No, I'm good. Lemonade Live. Here, That's I'll right. take one, so I'll promote it, okay? Awesome. Lemonade Live. You guys work for CDK? We do. What do you do there? We are a DMS company, but we're more than just that. More than just a DMS. CDK. Oh, wow. CDK. So you can wrap it around See, your exactly. Head. CDK is on the... <laughs> did you... Tell them they made the Auto Transport 22 this year. You guys made it on our... We do a show. You made it on our... Transport 22 this year. You guys are big time. That's a big deal. Awesome. Uh, what was on the 22, Jay? Top 22 companies driving change in auto transport. Driving change in auto transport. So we had the service was on there, ACV. Keep rattling off some more. Oh, uh, Cox Automotive was on there. Ford, Cox Automotive, Ford, GM, ACV, Glovis. Ford, GM, Globus. But you guys made it. That's a pretty big deal because yeah. we don't just Accelerate put anybody group. on the list. Yeah. Jay, if you want the Cooley Talent sunglasses. Jay, you want a Cooley Talent some sunglasses? Yes, please. Yeah. Double. Yes, please. Okay, double. He said he does want one. Yes, so, yeah, please. Hook us up. Yeah, What's your name, Michael? Yeah. And come here, Michael. Yeah. You got a minute? I know you're busy, but come here. I want to say hi yeah, to you. Yeah, all right. You're CDK Global. Who gets awesome. CDK Global? Well, on ATI the show? does. Jay? Hey, what's going on? How ATI. you doing? Michael. Hey, Jay. How you doing? Hey, Michael. You almost act like you know Jay. Have you seen Jay before? I don't know that I have. I think oh. I've seen you, you at know a what? conference. I've seen him, but I have never <laughs> met him. There, there we go. go. What's up? Awesome. So, it's CDK, that you made the fantastic. list. Yes. Yeah, CDK no. Global. Yeah. We'll shoot you. We'll, Michael, what's, what's, your, what's your email, Jay? Hold on. We're going to get your email, and Jay will send you a link. Okay. You can watch it if you want sometime. What's your email? Michael.barrow. Michael.barrow. Barrow, B E R O, Michael.cdk.com. At cdk.com. Cool. Cdk now, I was at a conference. I want to say that one was in maybe Tampa. I don't know. But I ran into a guy who spoke for CDK. Super nice guy. I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. And he told me a little bit about what you guys do. But can yeah. you tell me more? Refresh yeah. my memory. So, uh, leading DMS. Leading in, DMS. So, dealer have... management system. Yeah, correct. For dealers. Yes. So, you, go, you guys, your main customer will be a Used car, new car, deal. Enterprise, yeah. Every, Enterprise. Yeah. We have leading DMS uh, in the world. In the world. Yeah. And we've, over the last few years, have done some really great things um, with acquisitions. We have uh, E-Lead CRM. E-Lead CRM. Yeah. And then uh, we just uh, purchased uh, earlier last year a digital retailing solution, Roadster. Roadster so buying cars online. Yeah, for sure. Roadster. Uh, no roadster. I think I've seen that. So dealers can get the Roadster uh, product and they can sell on their websites. Hmm. Uh, recently, this year, we announced earlier in February what I'm here for is uh, Car Source. Car Source, which is Ooh, yeah, CDK Car Source that. is a dealer to dealer, dealer to dealer car source. wholesale management solution. There we go. Wholesale management so you think solution. Like auction, Who does their transport? Say, trade and dealer to dealer right um a lot of great features in that product um you know and just continuously growing how does transportation work in that wholesale market so yeah there's a there's a heck of a lot of transportation okay it's time to do a show uh, companies out there right individuals yeah. too um so with our solution we're looking at incorporating that directly into the tool. Yeah. Right now, one of the one of the great things that we have for car source is we have a team of 
uh, performance managers, we call them inventory pros, okay. that manage all the accounts geographically so they can work with any dealer um, on their strategy for acquisition or disposition of vehicles. Disposition um, of vehicles. That's yeah, a nice it, term. I haven't heard that one. Yeah, so like, think of like aging policies. Yeah, yeah. So Old dealers inventory. are like, hey, I, uh, I don't keep cars days, past 60 days, gone. 30 days, whatever. Um, it's not so much the case right now if you know these times. Yeah. Um, there are yeah. a lot of people buying. So, um, but we can accommodate those things. And we have a team of professionals that work with them directly. Um, dedicated to them what i would like to do jay's got your email yeah where we go live four times a week every week oh okay. and we talk about this stuff all the time so, and so we have a community of carriers we have a community of dealers we have a community of auctions it's a growing community yeah but for the carriers what what we're really passionate about is how to better serve you yeah. So as a carrier, we get, because of Jay's show, we get a phone call and email ten a day, okay? okay. And they come to Ty. Awesome. And how do we, how do we want to, how do I be a car hauler, Ty? Yeah. Where do I get cars, Ty? So if I ask you, where you want to be a car hauler, where would you go get cars? CDK Car Source, man. CDK Car Source. Did you that's hear what that? we're talking about. Hey, that's what we're talking about. You do. Yeah, that's what we need. And yeah. so. Yeah. In our community, how many people know that they can go to CDK? I don't know your community yeah. that well. I just met you. We guys, need to get so to know I mean, each other better. We'll put the word there. out. Yeah, yeah. I want I want our carrier base to know who you are. Does yeah. that make sense? Certainly. And so by educating our community, we can help you better yeah. and move yeah. more yeah. cars because that's usually a big part of the problem. Yeah. yeah. Like we've cool. we've had friends. We're good friends with ACV, uh, the backlog sure. car guys. Yeah. And it's. You know, we can get the technology, we can sell the car, we can buy the car. I just need the car. Yeah, right. Yeah, certainly. So, so this yeah. is so yeah, go the, ahead. The, uh, the car source is similar to what you might know from an ACV or a back car lot. source. It's, uh, yeah, so it's CDK solution to that. Um, Non-exclusive, right? Because we, non -exclusive. Know that a, we know that Perfect. there's a source we are too. issue now. So we're not yeah. telling yeah. dealers, hey, use CDK, only CDK. You have the flexibility to continue to use the tools that you might be familiar with. Another place for you to uh, source vehicles or look for inventory. Uh, again, we pulled together um, all our dealer base to create that marketplace. So it's uh it's a pretty large marketplace well yeah and i think that's the thing like you guys are in with and i don't know so just correct me if i'm wrong in my mind i think like a lithia sonic yeah. a penske yeah. so you guys are buddies with those guys yeah we are buddies with them and that's where we we talk is like <clears throat> okay these are big companies that have a lot of rooftops mm -hmm. that's the right word yeah and they move a lot of cars mm -hmm. and they need carriers who yeah. understand what we're trying to accomplish here yeah which is real basic yeah and that's what that's why we're here because yeah. i think people try to make it more complicated than it is it's yeah. pick the car up and drop it off yeah. now I, I totally tie and i think just the other thing in general is you know when people have done people have been buying and selling wholesale for so long uh they get used to what it is that they're doing right and mm -hmm. i think I think that even is outside of automotive, when you do something for so long and you have a certain level of comfort, um, that it's difficult to kind of maybe look at it a little differently, which you kind of have to do right now. In oh, man. If you're not paying attention now in any part of the industry, yeah. vertical, right. you're going to have a problem in three months. Big one. Yeah. Keep going. No, and I was, I, that, that was basically it. And I just think, you know, if you, if you, if you think, uh, you know, a lot of these solutions that we're seeing here today, CDK and, and others, you know, a lot of them are there to help, you know, with today's environment. So I encourage people to get to the show, get around, uh, think about what, what, what are problems for them at their dealership or how, what's preventing them from growing. Right. And get to the right uh, people here and see if there's some things that they can do to help them. Yeah. You know, that's all it's about. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm, I appreciate this. What, tell me what this is one yeah, more time. So this is a cooling towel. Cooling towel. You and can uh, rinse sport. it over where it kind of goes around your neck. Okay. Right? That's yeah. why it's elongated like that. Right. Uh, 
That is cool. And if it gets wet, it cools, it cools down. A lot of you see a lot of workers wearing them around their necks on hot days. Keeps your neck keeps you cool. Well, I appreciate that. I'm going to make sure Jay yes. gets one of these and some glasses. Thank you, Michael. Back by him. I sent him a LinkedIn connection. Yeah, we'll be here all day. Okay. Okay. It's a Thank you, man. Michael. Which means oh, a lot. We want to talk to you some more. That yeah. was awesome. Yes. Yeah, he'll thank you yeah. so he'll much. Thank, thank you. All right. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Michael. All right, cool. All Good right, job. cool. That was amazing. Wow. Truck. We just work met truck. CDK Global yeah. at the trade show. Fantastic. I love it. That's why they're on the Auto Transport 22. We're headed over to an interview with Work Truck Solutions in the Expo. Tell me the booth number one more We're time. We're headed to booth number 575. That's right. Step right up. We got booth 575 coming right up. Uh, I know. He, he, I know. He's got a small microphone. Come on now. Uh, but we're going to get him a larger microphone. We're working on it. We, you know, there's always stuff to work on. Hey, man, we're hey, a startup. You like have, what you whoever, see? Help us out. Let us know how whoever, you Okay, here, let's go to live with Ty. Ty. Whoever said that uh, we got a small microphone and need a bigger one, throw us 100 bucks in the live chat. And exactly. We'll make that happen. Go ahead and make it rain in the super chat. Thank you so very much. Oh, sorry. When are you going over? So yeah, so we got a we when we're doing we're gonna be live for a few hours. Yeah, we're just talking. I just was gonna see when you were gonna head over there. Uh, Thank you. I guess I guess I can head over as soon as we're done doing our little tour. Oh, I am a little little nervous though. Okay, well don't worry about it. I'm gonna go talk to this other guy, and I'll just swing back by. If it works, it works. We always we always love NQ and Danny. There's Danny guys. Absolutely. Hey, what's up, Danny? Adventure. It was Angela. Is that right? Angela. Angela and Danny. Thank you. Awesome, Angela. Yeah. Angela, and we're going to five something work truck booth. I'm headed that way. AutoZone's here. Did you see AutoZone? Yeah. There's Carcetta. Carcetta? We know somebody at Carcetta. Uh, Brady. We'll Brady find Thurgood. Them later. Yeah, we'll find him later. Yep. I, I There's just lunch stuff out here. I emailed Jerry. I copied Lou and let him know that you're on the way. And uh, this is going to be great. Wow, there's so many. Is Lou here? No. No, he's back at, uh, oh. he's, uh, he, truck. he's in his home office. Uh, there's our e-block guys. Hey guys, Simon's here. Simon, I'm Todd. At 1.30. You know my buddy Jay? 1.30 yeah. we're supposed to have a meeting. He's right here, right? Uh, Thank you yeah, so much, Simon. Back. We'll yes. come back to see you. We'll come Thanks, back buddy. to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. Hey, look, they got treats out. Work Love truck. It. 575. It's south of used car news, yeah. So yeah. you, yeah, you're headed the right way. Yeah. I think they're down here. So I saw them. What's the guy's hey, name? What's up, Ants? Uh, Jerry. You're looking for Jerry Ogris Jerry. at Work Truck Solutions. Wow, look at that. We got Recover and Jerry. Uh, I'm talking about growing Jerry. and oh, here we go. Jerry. Hey, I'm Ty. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're supposed to chit chat. You got time? Sure. Are you? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to set this over here if you don't care. Gotcha. We'll sit. I want to get your logo in the background. Right. Did you see what I got? Check this out. There's Jay. I'll show you Jay. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. You hey, can't Jerry. hear Jay, but how are you doing? I can. He said, How are you doing? I'm good. We got this from right. CDK. It's, it's a cooling towel. So we'll just keep that right there. Jay, let's do a quick background check here, see what we got. All right, so we're a little close, but close. can I scoot this? Yeah, just a little bit? Oh, okay, fantastic. I'm gonna scoot this. Yeah, perfect. Here, I'll let you hold that. Great, cool. So we're just gearing up. Move. He's moving the camera around. We gotta set some dolly track. Uh, we gotta <laughs> move some 5Ks, and uh, we gotta get all that food out of the way. All right, let's get set up. We're live with Jerry at Work Truck Solutions. Perfect. That's a pretty good great. background right there. Yeah, I like that. Great, that's great. Great. Yeah, and let's show what we got here. We got the beer opener keychain. Oh, perfect. I'll take one of those. You want one? Can yes. I have one for right. Jay? He said yeah, he wanted absolutely. one. Thank great. you, Jerry. So, Jerry, what do you do? What's so, Work Truck Solutions? Work Truck Solutions. Work Truck Solutions helps dealers connect with buyers and commercial dealers. I'm going to get close to you. Yeah, there you go. Get my close. mic's there right go. here. Thank okay. you. I want to make sure that I'm not weird. All right. I am Thank weird. you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Work Truck Solutions uh, connects buyers with dealers in the work truck space. Work truck space. So, let's start with what's a work truck. Work truck is anything that you see in the street that has a plumber sign on it, uh, uh, lawn care, et cetera, et cetera. And I would think what you just described, you, you see more of that than you realize you see. 
Yeah, there's these, you can call it like a fleet. Yeah, right? especially in metro fleet. areas, you see these trucks that you know lawn care. We right. just said that. Right. Okay, so now we've defined a work truck, and you connect the buyer, the buyers, and the dealers, and the dealers. So, right. what? There are dealers. I I know a bunch. I actually still transport from. Right. That's all they have is the F one fifty white right. based out. Right. Maybe an extended cab, just the work truck. Right. Okay. So uh, there's dealers out there. Mm -hmm. That's it. So there are dealers. We have uh, over a thousand dealers. Uh, those are franchise dealers. Um, we provide um, inventory display for them for their, uh, for their websites, for their dealer websites. And then we also do the um, locators for General Motors. And we do the locators for the upfitters. And then we provide the marketplace I mentioned before, which is convoy.com, which helps all dealers promote their vehicles new or used to the public. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to recap a lot of that. Yep. Because there's a lot in there. Yep. Uh, the, there's, you're in a thousand dealership mm -hmm. or something like that. Yep. Okay. They're. The commercial trucks. You're the wet. You're doing something with web. Is that what I heard? Yeah. Technology. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that? Sure. We help that supply chain. So the manufacturer produces a chassis. An upfitter puts something on the back of that chassis okay. on behalf of the dealer. I know one. It's Napa High. Everybody's go. heard of Napa High. Right. Did you hear that, Jay? I knew something. So, so, so you got a chassis which is a cab uh -huh. and a nothing. Uh, nothing, right? So that's shipped to the dealer or perhaps to Napa High. Okay. And that pipe puts something on the back that's then functional for a particular profession. Plumbing, electrician, lawn care, cargo, electric. You can go down the whole list. Yeah. And then that vehicle gets sold through to to the dealer, through the dealer, to a single driver owner or a fleet of vehicles, like you described before. You know, I okay, so Kansas City, Missouri, this is a true story. Uh-huh. Less than a year ago, you go to Worlds of Fun. So here's Worlds of Fun. There's a highway in front of it. You go just north of Worlds of Fun. Guess what's there? The Clay Como F-150s plant. You go south of the uh, Worlds of Fun. There's these massive acres and acres parking lot asphalt, and you'll see, for example, Whites. You heard of Whites Construction Company? Anyway, they've got this special kind of a yellow orange truck. With this special bed, mm -hmm. five thousand. I'm like, whoa! So these trucks that you're talking about, once the cab chassis, once it gets to the outfitter, mm -hmm. you're finding the, with this technology. Keep going. So the technology is we provide a website for the dealer to display this very highly customized inventory, so that a buyer, whether it's a large company like you just mentioned or a single driver, can get the specific vehicle that they need in seconds as opposed to finding it in other places and doing a lot of searches. So that's our web presence. But for the independent dealer here, particularly, we have a back-end solution. It's called VAST, Vehicles, Vehicle Acquisition Search Tool. Oh, hey. Jay, have you seen this? Show me. Looking for vehicles in all the right places, inventory sources, no vehicles, no problems. Cool. Vehicle Acquisition Search Tool. I like it. Vehicle acquisition search tool. Correct. And so it's wow. a back end tool. We aggregate all the commercial vehicles from Mannheim, Smart Auction. Oh, 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 so we, you say that first we, part? We aggregate. We aggregate take, we all a, the cars. We get a feed from all Mannheim, Smart Auction, um, oh. fleets that we have businesses with, and then we present it to dealers, independent dealers or franchise dealers, for them to buy vehicles that are specifically configured for their buyers, for their customers' needs. So VAST is a really great tool for the independent dealer space here. So would it be possible, not now, but maybe at some time in the near future to do a demo of this? Sure. Like show, like sure. share screen, share, that Absolutely. kind of, you know how to do right. that stuff? Russell does. Russell. Sorry. Hey, Russell. Hold on just a second. Let me cancel this. Check, check. Yeah, we and just had a little. And we're back. Yeah, we're, we're cool. Good. Hey, okay. all right. Russell. Russell, yes, Ty. Ty. Um, Jerry, this is Jay. Let me show you Jay. You see Jay? Hey, Russell. Hey. So, Jay's the founder of ATI. Jay and I work together. We're the car shipping business channel. We've been here for five years. Last two, we go live every week. 
four times a week. So we're live now. Nice. And we are the car shipping business channel. We talk about technology. Yeah. We talk about dealers. We talk about auctions. We talk about where can you even find a used car. Whatever it is, the ecosystem, OEM, use. So I'm, my background is transportation dealer, used car dealer to auction, auction to dealer. That's, what, that's my lane. I love that lane. Stay away from co parts, stay away from, from trucks. I always do my best to stay away from right. trucks. It's a very important segment. Right? Oh, huge. It's the backbone of our economy. Huge, and, huge. Uh, and so when you mentioned the different uh, avenues that you uh, pursue on convoy.com, which is our marketplace, yeah. we offer advertising opportunities yeah. for transport companies for yeah. insurance companies for finance companies and so on and so forth so we try to find all of the pieces of the supply chain from manufacturer to the to the buyer and fill all the gaps wow. that's amazing so we're one of the and you do the technology is that right Either no i've product been product specialist product yeah. specialist okay so what i was telling jerry is at some point i want come on the show sure. <laughs> whatever works for you guys and Jay's schedule sure. yeah. we bring you on and we show you show us this technology that's right we love that right. yeah we yeah. can share a screen and yeah you and the the nuts screen. and bolts and you can do that yes okay do we, can we have your email or card yeah here's my card here yeah so okay, Russell we well, got we got all your info I got my stuff yeah. but you can have it again if you like. okay yeah absolutely yeah, sure, right. Jerry. okay so uh and you're here at this event for Dealers. For the two specific reasons I mentioned, right, which is the search tool. Search tool. Let's uh, independent dealers find vehicles like that. Okay. And it takes much longer or hours on an auction. Like you go to Mannheim, you try to find a specific vehicle, it takes forever. We make that really easy, really fast. <laughs> and then the independent dealer here, just like everybody else, wants loyal customers. So if we can find that right vehicle for them that they can provide to their customer, they've got a customer for, for a long for a time, yeah. right? And the customer uh, experiences efficiencies because if their vehicle's down, they're losing thousands of dollars a day. And if the dealer can find it like that, it's all money saved. Well, and that's right. So from this perspective of being a transport guy mm -hmm. with big semis and big car, you know, sure. same idea, meaning I need another truck. I've yeah. either got too much work, yeah. I got a truck, I, I, I need it. Yeah. Not, I don't need to wait. Right. I need it. And so I get a hold of you guys yeah. and I say, I need another truck yesterday. Yeah. You're like, hang on. Here's our technology. What are you looking for? What are the spec size miles? Yep. Here it is. Will that work for you? Yes. And is it kind of people-less? Is that what I'm hearing? It's, well, we connect the dealer with the customer. Okay. But we provide the technology that allows the dealer to source the vehicle correctly, very fast and efficiently. And then we, um, on the flip side, have the marketplace called Convoy, C-O-M-V-O-Y, C -O -M -V -O -Y, okay. which lets commercial buyers find the exact right vehicle that they need almost instantly. And that's separate than Vast. Yes. Right. It's and Vast is a, a dealer only facing, so the consumer doesn't see any of that inventory. Yeah. Vast is dealer only. Dealer only. Convoy is consumer facing. Right. Right. Okay. Yep. So we can see both of them. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. So yep. Then we're not doing anything. So we showed we showed Vast to a few dealers yesterday, and, okay. and we asked them, "Hey, oh hey, have you?" That's it. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Have you it. searched on? Mannheim to find commercial vehicles and Jerry will say they all be like oh it's, it's tough you know it's, it's an exercise in futility because they just yeah. show year make and model and you got to search through all the pictures so right. I so what I guess Mannheim we have oh. a tremendous feed from Mannheim oh, yeah, yeah. they've given it to us so we can enhance the ability of commercial dealers to go to Mannheim mm -hmm. and find a vehicle like that yeah yep so that I reduced it into two or yep yeah. I reduced it into two or three clicks what they so would take an hour, hour trying yeah. to find a so specific this, vehicle. Let me show you how old I am, okay? <laughs> my, my goal in life was to be at the auction every day before the dealers go. Yep. Okay. The reason was to go get the run list. Yes. Because I know all my dealers, I know what they buy. So I grab the run list, I sit down, I know that guy buys that, that way. Mm -hmm. So I get on the phone, hey, you looking for anything? The reason I'm doing this because I want to transport. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I just want, I'll help you buy cars so I can transport mm -hmm. them. But the point is, is you with technology, with time. But the one thing that always bothered me when I got the list was, is I knew for a fact my trucks are just now checking in another 30 cars. Mm -hmm. 
that did not make the list. Uh -huh. And that was always frustrating to me. And so now I'm curious with technology, has that sped up, like well, almost real time? Well, we're dependent on Mannheim's feed, right, which right. we get daily. We're dependent on Smart Auction feed. So however fast they can get they can the, get the information. You got it just fast as they have it. Right. Right. And I think, that, to me, I, and I don't, personally, I don't I really like it, but I can see value in it. In the, it feels like it's slowed down a little bit. Like there's not that overwhelming pressure to get everything done right now, right? I mean, there's still we're still fast. Mm -hmm. Well, I think from the consumer side, though, if they don't have a truck, it's yesterday's not soon enough. Right? Yeah. Well, it's money. <laughs> yeah, it's and money. we all know that. So, Jerry and Russell, yes, work truck solutions, uh -huh. work truck solutions, and I think if it's good, good with you guys, Jay's going to get a hold of you. But I would love to have you either sure. Tuesday or Friday. Sure. And I'll probably there. have a marketing manager join too, Steve Henning. Steve, yep. Getting this, Jay? I can't hear Got you. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve, Jerry, yes, yes, sir. Right. Where are you guys located? Not that it matters. Just I'm technology. I'm in just Salt Lake City. Salt Lake. Okay. Uh -huh. Norfolk, Virginia. Virginia. And then wow. Steve's in Texas. Texas Dallas. Right. Dallas, oh. Fort Worth area. Now is that the the group? Is there more? Oh, no, there are more. Our oh, founder okay. is uh, Catherine Schiffer, and she's in Chico, uh, California. Oh. And Chico. we have... And that's probably where the base of the, base of the operation is. Okay. We is. probably have 90 team members. Mm -hmm. wow. Ish. And okay. we've been at it over a decade, so we've got a lot of data. One of the things I like to do, because of the people that I get to meet at these, is I like to ask questions, something like, are you going to be at the IARA in August? Do you know what that is? And I'm not familiar with it. Not familiar. And this uh, is our we're, first, this is our first time at, at so this convention. I'm, I bring that up because I know enough about my world where I can see the value of this world coming to that conference. The value for your organization. We can get some information. Yeah, after. Yeah, 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 after yeah. 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 <laughs> this one's actually in Nashville, which oh, is great. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, we can do yeah. Nashville in August. It won't be hot or humid. Heck, even from Norfolk, I can get a direct flight to Nashville. Right so there. it's one of the few places I can so, flight. What I'll do is, when I'm done, I'll come. Sure. I'll catch you guys before yeah. we all yeah. leave. We'll sit down and see if we can put something together. But I think it'd be good to have you guys yeah. come next time. Man. Appreciate it. That was awesome. No, I sure appreciate I want to learn you. more. We really do. Awesome. This is an interesting. Because see, one of the things that we, uh, when we get to talking about equipment for yep. car haulers, yep. this you guys are a very big topic mm -hmm. when you're dealing with trucks. So right. I get a call, Ty, what, is, what truck and trailer do I need? Well, what are you going to haul? I don't know. Right. Okay. Because putting the body on the back of it changes a lot of what you yeah. do. So based on what I think I know about you guys and the kind of vehicles, there's a particular trailer that works perfect mm -hmm. for what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's a Sun Country 5 car, right? You stick it behind what we call medium duty. I call it the beer truck. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, yeah, truck yeah, yeah. the single axle. <laughs> it fits perfect. It's air brake. It's safe. It's got plenty of power and it can haul three to four trucks, mm -hmm. full okay. size. So we can help educate you guys because yeah. when you get, you're going to need somebody to move this stuff. Right. 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 You get a lot of interest in that area. Like I said, transporters, insurance, uh, financing, you know, people who who are looking for the eyeballs we curate. Yeah. That's awesome. You guys, thanks so much. Right. Thanks. Thank you. We'll see you again. Take care. I'll be back. Right. Don't worry. Right. Thanks. Wow, appreciate it. All right. Was, uh, have a good one. Uh, fantastic. Sorry, Jay. I can't enemy. hear you. Hang no, on. You did great. Yeah, no, I know. Great yeah, job. Back. There you are, man. I mean, that was awesome, Ty. Thanks. Um, you are good really, guess. really good at this. And so oh, I appreciate whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, hey, by the way, we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, there's Michelle and there's A to Z Sync. So we're, we got almost 10 minutes till our Ed Curry interview. So you've got time. If you want to, like, pop in and hey, buddy, them or whoever you want, you got a few minutes. But I want to say again, Ty, that was an awesome interview. You did a great job. And you really tied it in to the transportation conversation, which is what we do here. So, Oh, man. Thank you. Um, yeah. I enjoy meeting new people for sure especially guys like that they're cool yeah they were cool um i sent them all linkedin invites and you know i think i've actually talked to kathy Schifferly, um who i think he said was their owner or president um i think i've talked with her so this should get interesting thank you lou thank you hey, whoa, 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 wait 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 oh here we go here's a hey buddy 
Oh my gosh. I'm to say something. Oh my gosh, it's Terry. Uh, I met Terry, Terry at the Aha. Uh -huh. Remember? Yes, oh. I guess. We right. shot at the Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. I saw you. I saw you yesterday. I was like, Terry, hey. <laughs> I couldn't catch you, but I caught you now. Yeah. How's it going for you? It's going great. How's it going with you? We've been doing amazing. Yeah. Really have, really have. Meeting a lot of, oh, sorry. Uh, meeting a lot of new people. Yeah. And this, I feel What's at home Terry's here. Company? I love this place. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. Oh, MGM or NIA? <laughs> NIA. NIA. Yeah. NIA. It's the first time I've been here. Do you know who I just this? got to interview? Oh, five, five, the CEO of NI ADA. Yeah. Yeah. Care if I come over there for a minute? Oh, Say hi. Can I borrow your chair for a second? Sure. Thanks. You can come over too. What's the company uh, name? <laughs> Terry, what's your company name again? Our company's Reynolds and Reynolds Company. Reynolds and Reynolds Company. Like the law guys, right? We something? are the law people. The yes. law people. And, and it's an interesting story. Uh, Charles Law founded the law company in 1929. Charles Law. Yes, and that's why we have the name Law Printing. Law. So he founded a printing company, and we bought it in 1994. So that's why we can have the Law Law printed documents. Law so it's a serendipitous name for us. Wow, that's so. good. And you you help dealers. You, you were at the trans. Uh huh. What were you doing there? Well, we we help dealers because we produce every consumer facing document a consumer would ever need to sign in order to buy or lease a vehicle. So we have a footprint probably in all 34,000 independent dealers and all 16,000 franchise dealers somewhere as far as documents are concerned, whether they're in paper or they're electronic. So, and now, <laughs> yeah, amazing. Now the other side of the fence, we are also a DMS provider, dealer management system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, but we only specialize in the franchise market. We don't do anything with independents. So we do not offer that service for independent dealers. We don't? We do not, no. Can you? We, you? we could, but we have chosen not to through management decision. Okay, so law, so there was a guy in here, Kevin Stroll, he was in there doing compliance stuff, I'm assuming for independent dealers. Mm -hmm. There's a law, do you supply, are you saying you supply the documentation for any kind of a compliance guy? Is that? Yeah, the law printed line of documents. And I should explain further. We print over 100,000 different type of documents in our very large printing plant outside of Dayton, Ohio. So we print documents for all kinds of dealers that are called customized documents. They ask us to print them, we print them. We don't look at them legally. The law printed line is reviewed by lawyers. I'm a lawyer, we all kind of lawyers. We all have all kinds of outside legal counsel and we view them routinely to make sure they comply with the law. So that's why a consumer that signed a law printed document, dealer can be certain, at least confident. There's not just thing as certainty in the law. They can be confident they've been reviewed scrupulously by legal counsel. Yeah. And okay, so I always like to try to bring it back to transportation. If I'm a transport guy, just a small guy, mm -hmm. 10, 15 trucks. Right. Is there a need for any of this? Uh, if a dealer is involved in selling any type of vehicle, they need to document the transaction. So they're going to need a contract and supporting documentation for that. There's a law that covers all of that. Uniform Commercial Code, for example, reach on someone's sales law, so forth. There are federal, federal laws. So yes, the answer is every, even if it's a commercial transaction, they do need compliant documents. Well, in, in the commercial transaction, less, far less than you do on the consumer side. Consumer side, because the law is, is designed to protect consumer interest. So the, the uh, compliance wall is a lot higher to surmount on the consumer side. The commercial transaction do need legal over here. Yes. Good. I'm going to let you go because I know you're busy. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I'm so happy I got to see <laughs> you. See you. That was really awesome. I was surprised. So surprised. Hey, guys, again, this awesome. is what relationships are. I met Terry once yes, a couple indeed. months ago. We had a good time. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, we did have a good, we had a good time. time. It was yeah. fun. All right. I'm going to let you go. Thanks so uh, much, Terry. That was again. awesome. Really yeah, appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. Great. Great stuff. Uh, Jay, my buddy, yeah. he started this channel. Yeah. He's a founder, and he and I work together. Oh, terrific. And uh, I go to the conferences. I make relationships. We try to educate our community on we try to educate the community on how important it is to do the right business. Sure, sure. It's pretty important. Absolutely, it is. And what we're seeing a lot of today because of our channel is we're seeing a lot of people who watch the video. Yep. Yeah, I think I can do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs>
Nice hey. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> when are we doing that? So our our my job is to try to catch them before they go make any big mistakes. Right. I'm not the law, but I've done it for a long time, and I know you can lose a lot of money and you can use, lose family. You can. You can lose a lot of stuff yeah. in any business. Sure can. But transportation is, in my opinion, because I've done it for it's very difficult. Oh, it's very difficult. It, it yeah. takes a lot of money to run it. It sure does. It takes a lot of energy, relationships, time. And sure. then you get into stuff like this. That's right. And this is not my specialty and not where I want to be. <laughs> but it is very important. It is. It is. And, you know, I my favorite attorney was my uh, estate planner. Yep. Chris Dumb, Joplin, Missouri, state planner. Yeah. This guy, I love doing that kind of stuff because it's, it is necessary. Sure. And is. it does lay a foundation to build on it. Yep. And that's where, that's kind of what we do. So sure. having a relationship with a guy like you, I'm going to grab your card and okay. we're gonna have, <laughs> now we have an attorney, right? All right. <laughs> In the hey. I can. Awesome. Thank you so much. Right. That'll work. You. Thank you so All much, right. Terry. Here, Thank you, buddy. Right. I can't All right. lose my so thing cool. there. I got to give that awesome back to that Jay. you guys met. It'll be sad. What do you got? At, uh, yeah. No, let's see here. What are we doing? Here we go. Gallery. Okay, cool. Back. So here's what we're going to do now. We're going to camera one. Um, that was Terry. Um, he's a lawyer with Reynolds and Reynolds. And what we're doing, we're going to head back to booth 549, Use Car News. We've got an interview with Ed Curry at the NIADA. Uh, and Jeff Ballant is going to be there with us for that, too. He's the managing editor at Use Car News. Thanks again to Use Car News and NIADA for helping ATI, the car shipping business channel, make it live to the NIADA Convention and Expo 2022 in Las Vegas at the MGM. And we're going to be back at our booth here in a second. So, got an extra like? Please leave one. Thanks so much. And if you know, listen, if you know somebody at the show, even Ants was like, hey, find, here. is Super Dispatch there? Find Super Dispatch. Hey, there Ed's we go. here. Hey, Ed. Okay, cool. Ed is son? here. Awesome. I'm great. I have great. got to meet you. Come Take on over her here. away. Awesome. Now, look, we got two of these. Yeah, we're in the Mountain Ed Curry, yeah. Let's see. We, you know Jay? Right. Have you met hey, Jay? what's oh, up, Jay. Ed? Hello, Jay. How you Jay doing? saying hi. Okay, here's us. I'm going to bring it right here. Yeah, it looks great. Right Perfect. Perfect. And then we're going to use this. So it's just you and I. Okay. My name's Ty. Ed Curry. Where are you from? Uh, just outside Atlanta. Small town called Noonan. Noonan. Yeah. I've been through Atlanta, but I don't know if I've been through Noonan. Oh, you'd have to be headed down 85 mm -hmm. south of Atlanta. Atlanta. Well, it's a busy place. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot going on. And, Ed, what do you do? What are you doing here? Well, I'm with NIADA. I'm a senior moderator and consultant. Uh, we are here hosting the convention. And, obviously, as a, a moderator for the 20 groups, um, we're signing up members. So, guess what? Cool. I just got to interview uh, Jay. Help me out, Bob Goldman. Bob, Bob Goldman. Yeah, yeah Bob. Bob Goldman. Okay. Yeah. And we got we actually yeah. talked about the twenty group, right? Yeah. Uh, so I was asking him, what do you need a twenty group for? Well, did he give you a good answer? He did. <laughs> oh, I did. This is this okay. is real good. Yeah. If you're asking what a dealer would need it for, first of all, it's it's a absolute fabulous training ground for people who don't have somebody to turn to to be trained uh who do you, who do you call out of the phone book if you want to learn what 19 other members are doing this week not last month or the month before for purchasing you know what kind of pricing are you running into that, that sort of thing so um we have three meetings a year in each 20 group. They last for about three days. That's the normal format for the meeting. But almost daily through the full year, these members are communicating with each other, bouncing ideas off of each other, getting uh, feedback, getting information on vendors that a dealer might be interested in trying. So it's a, you know, it's a 365-day-a-year brotherhood is what, what it is. Yeah. It, it becomes something like a fraternity or a brotherhood or whatever you might call that. Um, and I have a group that I do the retail groups and service groups, but I have a retail group that had their 80th meeting two, two weeks ago. If you divide 80 meetings by three per year, that's how long some of those members have been in that group. 
So I guess you could ask those guys yeah. why they need one because they've been in it for 27 years, and why would they stay in it if it, if it wasn't value? If, if it wasn't value, why would they yeah. do that? Exactly. Yeah. And they, they pay good money. They, they pay uh, travel expenses to uh, get to the meetings. And, and uh, almost every one of them will tell you it's the best thing they've ever done for their business. So they get a, a, a private board of directors. It costs them nothing. You know, get 16 to 18 other members that, that uh, provide free advice to them. And, and uh, it's it's a wonderful learning situation, and there's no place else you can go to get it. Yeah. Well, Jay, I was telling Jay, uh, being here with the dealers, I love the dealer. That's right, mm -hmm. tell everybody. Yeah, the, the dealer taught me my transport business. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't they taught me the business side. Well, right? And so... I look to those guys as amazing people. They're heavily invested in local community. Right. They didn't maybe intentionally say, Ty, I'm going to teach you the business. Right. But I was paying enough attention to understand if I watch these guys and listen to them, I can grow. Yeah. And boy, did I grow. <laughs> I mean, I grew yeah. fast with the relationship with the dealer. Yeah. So I see the value in something like that. Now, as a community of car carriers, car haulers, <clears throat> We don't talk about 20 groups. Yeah. We don't have that. Yeah. And so my one of my goals in life is to make a 20 group for a car carrier. Well, right? well, we could actually help you with that. Oh, wow. uh, that, that, that'd that be an interesting project, to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. Because what we see in this, in this because we're Jay, right. our show, ATI, Car Shipping Business Channel, what we see is a lot of people really want to be in here. Yeah. But they come in on a false premise no understanding, lack of knowledge. It's not training. See, my new my new mission in life is if you want to be a car holder, go to Auction Academy with Kenny Wine. Right? Yeah. Or go to Northwood. Right. Learn the business of a dealer before you just go spend a bunch of money and get on a low board. Yeah. And that's that's where I see value. So right. you think there's opportunity for something well, like that. I, look, I'd like to take that project on if, you, if you're serious about it. We follow up offline, but to create a... Uh, a 20 group environment for car haulers. Yeah. That so amazing. Yeah. And see, I don't know how that works. So that would be, again, live. You saw here live. This is how we make relationships. We just met. Right. We're talking. We're having fun. And this, this is what people don't get. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. not trying. I'm, I'm getting older. I understand yeah. that. But if you don't have that, you can have all the technology you want. If you don't have this, it might be rough. Yeah. So what did you do before you got into this? Well, um, I spent about 20 years working in dealerships. Okay. Um, I was a independent buy here, pay here dealer early in my career. Um, but about the first 20 years, I worked in dealerships. I worked my way up to become a partner in a couple stores. And uh, when I left that, I went to work for Sonic Automotive as their very first national pre-owned director. I stayed with them for eight to nine years. Then I wound up, uh, I was the vice president of Open Lane uh, back in 07 and 08. Open Lane was ultimately sold to Odessa. Um, I officed in Mesa and had the entire United States and Canada as my area of responsibility for dealer sales. After that, I went to work for Asbury Automotive Group uh, as their national pre-owned director. From there, I went to the Van Tile Group as a five-state regional pre-owned director, and um, I started running a dealership for them to, as a general manager and operating partner, and um, Berkshire Hathaway bought the company, and so ultimately, I worked for Berkshire Hathaway as an operating partner, and, and uh, I did that, um, decided to retire. I retired, I thought, and uh, a guy called me four days later. And he kind of talked me into sitting down with him to, to look into an opportunity. And, and as a result of that, I helped a, a large independent dealer in Atlanta, Atlanta Luxury Motors, um, nail down a Kia franchise and integrate it into a very large used car operation. And the plan was that uh, we would do that one and it would take a year and a half, two years. And we put one in each of his other six stores as they became available. COVID rolled around. Um, to be honest with you, I wanted to see my grandkids worse than I wanted to uh, continue working. So I'd already 
thought I was going to retire one time, so I thought I retired again. <laughs> and uh, sat on the couch for a year, watched a lot of um, Mayberry RFD reruns, <laughs> worried about what I was going to eat and what I was going to watch, and it just didn't work. Yeah. Gained 20 pounds, and uh, I saw an ad in Automotive News for a moderator for NIADA. My first love and most of my career was spent with used car, you know, on the used car side of the business, even in the franchise world. So that's how I wound up coming to work for NIADA. Ed, yeah. cool. no, no. had you been a part of a 20 group as a dealer? Yes. A okay. yes. Um, what, what was the best thing about it for you? The camaraderie and the off-meeting discussions that you had. A, the, most of the guys will tell you they learn as much between the meetings and after the meetings at the location of the meeting that they then they learn in the meetings. So um, that, the connection to other dealers, and we, we try to structure them so that dealers are similar in size so that there's commonality among advertising budgets and volume and employee headcount, those sort of things. And, and NADA has several um, 20 groups in different markets. Like, when I'm saying different markets, you might have a buy your payer group, would you? Or? Well, um, we have two moderators that specialize exclusively on the buy here, pay here side. Excellent. I'm currently the only uh, moderator for retail. Excellent. Um, we're going to have to add one. Our, our, the retail side of our 20 group business is, is starting to grow. Uh, and, and it's the first time I heard this in a meeting yesterday, the first time we've really seen growth in membership, not just 20 groups, but general membership since, I think he said 2016. Yeah. So things are on the upswing on the membership side, and they're on the upswing on the uh, 20 group side. What is the biggest areas currently that dealers are concerned with? Obviously inventory, but are there any specific advice they're looking for when you see them? Well, um, they each have their own challenges. So if you get 18 guys in a room, we call them 20 groups. Mm -hmm. The ideal size is about 16 people, but we cap it at 20. So you get 18 guys in a room, they're going to have more than 18 different types of problems and concerns. Obviously, for the last year and a half, inventory has been one. Oddly enough, um, most of my dealers in 2021, in an environment where you couldn't find inventory, and you had to pay crazy money for it, had the absolute best financial year of their careers. Most all of my dealers. This year, about half of my dealers on a year-to-date basis through April are having a better year than they had last year. So we're just going to try to keep that momentum going, and, and, and these guys could have the best year in their history again. Does it have to do, especially with inventory, does it have to do with a little bit of fearlessness and saying, I'm just going to go with the market and have to pay more? You know, a, a, a rising tide floats all boats. So the guys who are really doing well are the guys who remained aggressive. They understand that I've got to pay two grand, three grand more than this same vehicle I bought uh, earlier, and uh, I'm just going to have to charge more for it. And, and it's, the, it's that simple. The grosses this year for about half my dealers are better than last year. And per vehicle, and last year they were better than ever before in their history. It's a, it's an absolute incredible story, and if you weren't in the room listening to all those guys, with my experience, I wouldn't have believed it. You know, I wouldn't have believed they could be having such phenomenal success against such headwinds. It's crazy. Yeah. If we have dealers listening, what would you? How would you pitch them on a twenty group? A twenty group. Well, um, I guess I would say nobody knows everything. And just as soon as you think you know everything in this business, it's going to change on you. So I would suggest that you get in the room with some of your peers. You talk about confidential financial results, and you talk about the processes that drive those, and you can become a better dealer. Uh, the guy who spoke yesterday, I thought he did a phenomenal job of attaching his business practice to our industry. And he, he, he could have, you know, nobody could have said it better then you can't let yourself talk yourself out of doing business. Unless you're already in the process of retiring or selling your operation, you just need to go pedal to the metal. Mm -hmm. Right. That's good advice. Yeah. It really is. Because 
you know, I, I look at what's happening today, right now, yeah. market, war, inflation, right. and I think, man, if I'm running a business right now, what am I doing? Well, How am I doing? Yeah. So you know, forecasting, right. and start looking at it. But I like what you're saying, because this is true. Like when I had all my trucks there, 911 happened, I mean, fuel, all kinds. I saw all kinds of things, but if, if we really go back and look for a minute, I think we'll still have cars. Yeah. I think we'll still drive. Yeah. I really do. I mean, yeah. I could be wrong. That's a good guess. That's a good... <laughs> you just may not know what it's going to look like, but yeah. somebody's going to have to need a car. Somebody's going to have to buy it. Somebody's yeah. going to have to sell it. Somebody's going to have to move it. Right. It might be different with next year, but I think we still have the fundamentals the same. And I think you say it really well. Well, they won't change. The fundamentals won't change. They change. And they haven't changed in the pandemic and all of the fallout from it. High gas prices. I've only got one member who is starting to moderate what she's buying to sell based on gas prices. But that's only one member. And she's in California. And the gas prices are a bit higher. Than she's not backing off. She's not stopping buying. She's just buying more fuel-efficient vehicles than, than what she was selling. She specializes in, in trucks. So, um, you know, instead of buying a one-ton truck, um, she's buying a half-ton truck. Yeah, you know, smart. So, yeah. And that's what you got to do. And she's, she's doing better. That's good. Yeah, she's doing better this year than last year. Last year was her best year. So. That's great. Jeff, any more? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm Ed, good. I really am glad I got to meet you. And I'm right. really thankful that Jay and I both are that you yeah. took the time to talk to us. It means a lot. Absolutely. Uh, we look up to you guys. Yep. You guys are leaders, and I will get we'll, we'll, we will get a hold of you yeah. and talk about that more. Sure. All right, All right Jay, let me make sure Jay's good. Jay, you good? Thank you so much. Yes, Car yeah, Hauler 20 All right. Group. Thank you. Car, Car Hauler right? 20 Group. Thanks. Car Hauler 20 Group. I'm serious about that. Thank no, I am you. too. I've yes. thought about that before. We'll follow up. That's awesome. Michael Briggs, does that ring a bell? Wow, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah, he's from Joplin, where I'm from. Wow. So back to camera one. So thank you so much. So here we are, NIADA Convention. And Expo 2022 live in Las Vegas, and Ty is catching up with. Uh, gosh, who do we have so far? All right, so I got several notes here. We've already we told we started off with uh, Bob Boltman, CEO NIADA, and we talked to Michael Graubert of Michael's Motors. Uh, we caught up with Anthony Greenhalch of Rapid Recon in the hallway, Greg Zach of Dixon Motors. We met Michael Barrow of CDK Global. Then we had an interview with uh, Jerry and Russell at Work Truck Solutions. Um, we caught up with Terry. He's a lawyer for Reynolds and Reynolds, something like that. And uh, and then this was Ed Curry. He's a moderator at NIADA. So um, all right, so that's what's happening. We've been live for gosh, we've already been live for is it an hour and a half? Gosh, we're going on two hours. So. Now the plan is we've got a we got a live stream coming up. We got an interview with Simon at uh, E Block. That's coming up in about an hour and a half. So I'm not sure if we're going to stay live or what we're going to do. We'll see. What we lost Ty there for a second, but he will come back. Thanks for saying hello in the live chat. Really do appreciate it. What we might do is well, we'll either take a break. We'll see if Ty comes back in. We'll either take a break. And then come back live for the e-block interview, or we will stay live. I'm not sure. So thanks for tuning in. Um, we'll just take a let's just take a few minute break, and we'll be right back. We'll stay live, and we'll be right back.
Yeah. All right, Ty, I'm back. Check, check. And uh, yeah, we're ready. Like, I got another interview. Perfect. Right okay, thank you so much for staying patient. I know we lost most of the viewers, but we had to take that break. Um, so here we go. Let's go live with Ty is live in the booth. Oh, great. We have David. Excellent, David. Yeah. And um, and if you want to say hello in the live chat, stay connected, become a better dealer. Thank you so much. Mic check, one, two, three. Yes, so we are, again, we're live at NADA. Here comes Ty. Ty, take it away. What's going on? Cool, me too. Well, I don't know what happened. We lost each other. It worked out really well because I was able to get a quick bite. I hadn't eaten since yesterday because you're working me like I'm a dog. Uh, <laughs> But in the middle of that, we got to talk to Ed, wrap that up, private conversation. Now we've got Dave. David, you were on the show a couple weeks ago. Is that right? Uh, no, last night I photobobbed one of your interviewers. You were on last night, yeah. Right, I photobobbed one of your interviewers. And you're like uh, part of the gang now. Hey, I guess. I don't know. It was, I didn't know you were running a live cast. And we're always doing something. We're crazy. Kind of like live TV, just don't know what happens. I, I don't think I used any four-letter words, so I tried to reframe myself you know, once I found out. One of the things that I really appreciate about car dealers is you can literally catch them off guard and they'll just roll with it, right? I mean, because you think about it, you guys have always, in the local TV back in me, my age, my, you know, if you, you watch TV and you see the car dealer guy having to blow out extravaganza stuff. Right. So I've always appreciated that about car dealers. They're, you know, got a lot of energy entrepreneurs tell us more about what you do so uh i am currently the uh, colorado independent automobile automobile dealers association ceo so we run an association for the state of colorado we have 1135 members which is about an 80 percent penetration of the independent dealers in the state of colorado 1135 35 independent dealers yeah. in so how many independent dealers are there total uh, about roughly 1370. Wow. Wow. So, yeah. uh, uh, we, we've been around actually for 81 years uh, we're older than the national association uh, our people who founded our association had the vision that they knew we would need representation down at the camp. Uh, they had great foresight. So we've got a good following throughout the state. And the nice thing about Colorado is it is like a, it's a small town atmosphere in a, in a wide open state. Uh, and we've grown. And now we've grown over a you know, number of years with people moving from California to Colorado, Illinois to Colorado, which is where I'm originally from, is out of, out of Glenview, Illinois. Uh, but it's a great place, and our dealers like to help each other. It's like you said, every, it's kind of like a fraternity, sorority type of atmosphere among used car dealers. Uh, everybody's willing to help each other. Everybody is willing to run each other up in the lane, yeah. and then when when it, the bidding's over and they lost out, they walk up to each other and say, okay, where are we going to lunch? And, and you're buying lunch. Yeah, and, and it just... I remember those. I've seen that happen. Yeah. It really is yeah. And they can get in there and hate each other for a couple hours at the auction. Yeah. And next thing you know, we're best friends. So, yeah. so there is that, that community that I've always appreciated. And it's not an exclusive community because Ed and I were just having a great conversation about this 20 group idea and how valuable it is and how the transportation community really doesn't have anything like that. And Ed's mm -hmm. saying, hey, why don't we make one up for the NIDA part of this? So right. we're going to try to figure out a way to make a 20 group about you in that but the reason i get excited about it personally and, and this, i say it all the time i've already said it six times today i'm not afraid to say it again the car dealer the independent car dealer taught ty thompson the transportation business right Thank and they don't so transfer cars. how right. did they teach me the business really do appreciate it. because they needed to get their cars there on time to get them recon get them back up Live on the lot ty. to get Here them sold uh and, and you know and, and they i mean i don't whether they taught you or not, I think you work together and, oh. and each grew together. And, and that is what, in the automobile business, if you don't have everybody working together, and that's from your lot man to your transporter to your mechanic to your salesperson to your title clerk, I don't care how much money you got and how good of an owner you think you are, you're not going to succeed. You can't do it without people. 
uh, and people's a driving force. You have to have a passion. Passion is what drives the used car business. And you talk about doing other things. We also have a 5013C charity that Jeff has done a, a couple articles on. We're very proud of that. That that, that started out of a, a, a committee uh, with three of us, came up with this idea to raise money. And I got to say it failed because we wanted to bring all the dealers, charity donations into one pile so we could get more noticed out there. Well, we have brought it together, but dealers still do their own things in their own community. So it's still blossoming. Uh, this will be our ninth annual year. We've raised over $3 million. All that money goes back out to Colorado. Last year, we gave 12 $2,500 scholarships out. We had a friend of our, of our uh, association who had a friend who was going to donate a building to Salvation Army. He then had him introduce him to us. He donated that building to us. We currently got it on the market for $1.4 million. So good things come uh, if you work hard and you believe people and, and you're transparent about what you're going to do, especially in the used car business. You have to be transparent. You'll grow together. And David, tell them last year, especially about this charity, last year, you're still in the middle of COVID. What kind of participation and amount did you raise? So last year we had uh, we held we held our, our uh, charity gala uh, November nineteenth. We had five hundred and seventy six people attend. Uh, we had over a hundred people on a waiting list, but we couldn't fit them into the banquet hall. We raised almost five hundred thousand dollars, and we do that through auctions, a silent auction, a live auction. All the items are donated. People come and and pay. $2,000 for a $300 model car type. I mean, it just, and everybody's no, they're not there to, to buy something at a bargain. They're there to help somebody. They have no idea who they're helping uh, and to just give back. And then we had at the end of the, at the end of the evening, we have a, a raise the paddle, a fund to need. And last year we featured uh, the butterfly fund and it, it was, the Lord works in mysterious ways. They had a uh, they had to cancel their fundraiser because of a tragedy with one of their board members, uh, and that was the only way they raised money. They have zero assets; nobody takes a dime. Either same with ours; nobody takes a dime. It's all volunteers. So we chose them as their as our fund to need. What do they do? What's the Butterfly Fund? So the Butterfly Fund helps children who have a disease where their skin doesn't stay attached. Uh, it's excruciating what they go through, the pain. They're bandaged up. It almost looks like leprosy. Uh, they very rarely live into their 20s. Uh, it's a painful disease they live every day with. But they take them to a camp up at Winter Park uh, in the mountains. They take them skiing, tobogganing, snowmobile. For many of these kids, it's the first time they've been away from their family. Uh, nurses and doctors volunteer their time their vacation time to put it on. It is, uh, you know, I get kind of emotional just talking about it uh, because we just went to a, another fundraiser for them the other day. What they do is uh, is transforming for these folks. We had a paddle raiser. Uh, we started the bids at $10,000. We had five paddles raised at $10,000. By the time it was done, we raised $135,000 for uh, it's transforming these lives. Uh, it, you can see them on our website, ciada.org. We Facebooked it. Uh, it was, it was moving, and they are so grateful they were able to send the kids to the camp because they weren't going to be able to because they could hold their gala. It was. Uh, this is this is what I get excited about, and they, and people. I mean, if, if you if you haven't lived it, it's hard to just sit here and listen to this. Yeah. I mean, incredible story, emotional story, full of life. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is that the car dealer that you think is screwing you out of money is intentionally cutting your rates, is intentionally telling you he doesn't have the keys, and the car dealer that is nothing but a pain in your rear end, you need to stop. Calm down. Go talk to the guy, okay? 
he's a real person and he's probably doing things that you have no idea about. <clears throat> and that's why you probably feel like you're getting crapped on a lot of the times is because you don't want to take the time to build a relationship, to build a lane, to become a real true service provider for people like this who are generous beyond belief. That's what I'm trying to explain about relationship, okay? You hear me, Jay? I hear you. I see you. Ty, my ETA is my ETA. <laughs> we have a guy that talks about my ETA is my ETA. We're saying that's not the way this business works. So, uh, David, I really appreciate your time, and I really appreciate you sharing with us the, you know, these emotional stories. It's This is real life. And people don't. That's what it's, it's, and that's what we're here for. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. I very appreciate much. it. Thank you for letting me yeah, talk to you guys. That was awesome. Minutes. Thank you for letting me photo bomb you last night. Photo bomb us uh, anytime. But I will say you are so correct, Ty. Uh, my position now as the director of the association is to try to intervene between consumers and dealers when they do have a problem. 99% of them are solved. It's lack of communication. If you communicate, and you communicate the right way, they're going to help you out. And vendors as well, right? Vend all the, especially, you can't do anything without each other. you got to have vendors. You have to have, you have, you have to have all pieces of the wheel to make it roll. And it's a, it's a great industry. It's a lot of fun. And it should be a lot of fun for when people come buy a car. If not, go find another guy. <laughs> go buy it from your independent dealer association. <laughs> That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you, really, really Thanks, Dave. You. That was we'll great. You. Fantastic. Good job, Good job Ty. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and you Jeff, too. Thank you, Jeff. And thank you, Used Car News. Yeah, I really appreciate it. All right, back to camera one here. So while they wrap that up. Um, so he is live. I mean, Ty, so here's, Ty is live in the booth at Used Car News, right? Ty, mm -hmm. you see, he's, he's, and he's in between interviews now. And so he's getting ready. Let me go ahead and mute him there. Oh, here we go. So we got a car here. Okay, right. Yeah. David Cardella is the CEO of Colorado Independent Thank Automobile you. Dealers Association. Because, as we know, NIADA has an IADA in every state. I think it's every state. We'll find out more. Uh, that'd be a good question for Bob Boltman. Is the... Hey, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, David was Dave was wondering if we could send him a link to this show. Oh, Absolutely. Okay, I know you, uh, I know you can. I just wanted to say so you know. What is the, uh, let me just see, what's his email address on there? Is it on there? Let's see uh, here. Let me grab my glasses. Yeah, it's, hard to, it's hard to read it. It gets a little boring. Uh, yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. D. Cardella. C A R D dog E. Edward L L A. D. Cardella at. C I A D A dot org. C I dot org. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll send him a link. Thank you so much, David. That was awesome. Yeah, no, was I good. tell you, well, you you know, Ty, you talk about dealers giving back to the community. I do talk about that a lot. Yeah, you do talk about that a lot. And man, he just straight went right to it. That's what you get. I, you know, again, we yeah, there's there's bad car dealers, there's bad dispatchers, there's bad dealers. Terrible okay? dispatchers. There's, there's bad, bad, there's bad. bad. But what what the message that I want everybody to understand. And this is this is what I love about ATI. What I like about ATI is if you if you're really a part of our community, meaning you tune in even once a month. That's it. If you tune in at least once a month to ATI, I'm going to call you community. And the reason I'm going to say that is because at least you're hearing some truth, okay? At least you're not watching a video that's telling you some fabrication stuff, right? We got a phone call this morning, Jay, before we went on our live. Uh, another guy calls. He's got, do I want to be a car hauler? As I listen to him, I don't talk. I just listen. It turns out he doesn't need to be a car hauler. He doesn't want to be a car hauler. He's got problems at home, and he's trying to run away from his problems at home. And he thinks oh. the solution is go buy a semi and get in it oh. and drive. Yeah, wow. You okay, know, so that's, I, that's, I think that's a tenth of all trucking that want to get in a truck and just drive away, 
right? I don't want to be. I'm running from my problems. Now, <clears throat> I, you know me. I, I listened. I asked a few nice questions. I was very kind until <clears throat> he says, "What kind of truck do I need to buy?" And I said, "Okay, you're you're not hearing me. You have a personal problem that is going to." compound by the minute oh god if you decide to go buy a truck and truck, you i cannot tell you don't do that but if you want to go do that you go do it i'm just letting you know based on what you've told me about your personal life that you just told a total stranger you're crazy buddy it, you and know if what? i could reach through the phone and get a hold of you i would right right good luck right right and the thing you're is coming at it from the wrong perspective was the wrong heart the wrong what? mind wrong what? And what's interesting is, uh, you, Ty. I know you. You. You have amazing conversations with people privately, one on one, on the phone, and you. You will have a personal conversation. Let's. T- let, you know. You will have the come to Jesus conversation. I know. Well, I know. we do, and that's Hallelujah. where that one ended up. But yeah, that's I the thing hey. is that <laughs> this. What's interesting? What you just said is. Yes, you won't find a single video that says, what are you running from? Because one in 10, it applies. And real. And that's what we're amazing. telling that you guys is so real. real. I, don't, wow. I don't make these stories up. Wow. That's crazy. You um, drinking at 9 o'clock in the morning, wondering if you want to be a car hauler or not, because you got problems at home, and you're uh, about ready to drop $300,000 on a truck and a trailer so you can get dude. away from your problems. Your problems, you need to deal with them, or you need to go away. There's, and if there's you, something wrong you. Because if you're in that truck, and you're, you're having those, now you're having fights behind the wheel, you do not want to be behind the wheel and then have, a, have an incident... That's going to cost you your business and more. Yeah, you don't want it that. Will. It, it, if man, you're it'll in be devastating. If it can go wrong, it will go wrong. Okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I don't okay. know your situation, but I left yeah. my backpack where we started. I'm okay. I'm starting to kind of get a little concerned. Let's go get it. Yeah, let's go so, get it. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to be back in just a minute. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're cool. You know of? Not that uh, I know right okay, now. We're good. Okay, okay cool. Thank Here you. it goes. Right it's we're back to it uh, is now. So it is. Welcome time. back to Camera One. It's Ty's time live at NIADA Convention and Expo 2022. Ty is live on the expo floor, and we're gonna go to. Oh wow, look at that. We got footage. Yeah, I got to eat while you were on hold. Oh, whatever excellent. happened earlier. I'm so, I'm so glad better. to hear that. Good. Hey, weren't we supposed to do uh, e-block at 1:30? Yeah, that's at 1:30. That's at 1.30 Pacific, which yeah. is in, boy, that's not for another hour. Oh, okay. We got, no we got tons of Thai time. Yeah, we're good. Tons it's, of Thai time. Well, we it's can 12.15 Pacific. Yep. We have Simon right. in 75 minutes. Oh, look. Did you see the venue? Uh, Ooh. All right. So we got to come. Oh, yeah. You know, it's an interesting yeah. looking booth, right? It really is. It's cool. Yeah, it's really interesting. I like that. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty about, cool. Uh, Smart design. Have you heard of Agora? Uh, you know, I I saw the name now a couple times. I don't know what it is. Check them out. I don't know. We need to Agora. find out more about. Agora. All right, so we need to learn. Wow, we go, and we just. I think you just Next you just photo bomb. <laughs> Agora. Yeah, okay. That's hey, that's Andy. I got the medium. Oh, so it's are Andy? they are they like online financing maybe? Oh, that's Andy. See Andy? Oh, that's Andy Friedlander. Oh, Andy, I got up? to talk to Andy. Andy. Andy, you want to say hi to Jay? Here's Jay. Andy, on, Jay, how Jay? are you, man? Jay, how you doing? That's, hey, uh, Jay. good to see uh, you. Oh, by the way, you told me tomorrow we're going to meet at the booth. At 11.30. I'm with uh, uh, Brett Scott. Brett He's Scott. He's the uh, vice president of government affairs. He deals with all the... the uh, regulatory, legislative, uh, lobbying, things like that. Perfect, so got it. It's on the schedule. About, you know what's what's in the in Congress that's uh, affecting our, uh, the dealers and affecting the industry. So that'll be uh, that's the eleven thirty at the booth. Eleven thirty at yeah. the booth. Scott. Brett, Brett Scott. 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 Brett Scott. I got Brett it. Scott. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much. No problem. Thanks, Andy. Andy. Right on. We'll Appreciate see you. Ya. Yeah, man. Andy helps so coordinate good. and schedule. He's been really helpful. He's been amazing, guy, yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. Wow, there's a lot. This is a pretty big, uh, it's a big expo floor. I mean, it feels kind of like NADA a little bit. 
Uh, not as big, yeah. but, but it's pretty no, big. No, no, definitely not. I'm thinking I mean, more along the lines of uh, used car week. I think it's bigger that, than used car week, though. Yeah. It's bigger. Well, it could be. I don't know. <laughs> uh, used Which car week was a good one in Red Rock. bigger? Who's got the bigger uh, expo? Who's got the bigger expo? All right, now we're coming back in. Oh, we're, hey, by the way, we oh just got gosh. this amazing... I think that guy... Look, 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 look. Can you see that? Hold on, hold What is it? What is it? What is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Back to time. Watch this. That's Matt Jones. <laughs> hey, Matt Jones. Yeah, I texted Jeez. him last night Man. after the show, and he texted me yeah. back. Who gets, wow. a, who gets excited when they see a wow. guy named Matt Jones? This is like a dolly track is move. What is this, <laughs> Hollywood? <laughs> Somebody called Michael Bay. Wow. I think I, this guy right here. Amazing. Yeah. This guy right here, he's yeah. amazing. You got to be careful. If you don't have a badge, you're not oh, coming yeah. in. What's now your you got... name? Frank. Frank. Frank does What's not up, play. Frank? But he did score some orders for me last night. And I, nice. I owe you big on that. Oh, wow. Thanks, Frank. Shoot. That's awesome. Always oh, get to know man. folks yeah. that work there. Yeah. All right. Where is your bag? Oh. Well, looks like you'll have to come back for it. Dang it. That's okay. At least we got to see Matt Jones. I mean, yeah, that, we got to see Matt Look, Jones. he's still going. That was awesome. That. He's going. Well, I mean, he's he, pumped. He knows we're here, and he is excited. If you catch I'm him excited. at the right moment. Oh, my word. Wouldn't that be amazing? True yeah. car. Matt yeah, Jones. Matt Jones. He's a speaker. True Car. I think they're an exhibitor. I he's think they're the, also a he's sponsor. He's in the video too. Wow, he is. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. So yeah, at least we know cool. the bag's still there. So okay, we'll come back here. Yeah, maybe give me some time. What time is it right now? Do you know? So it is now twelve twenty Pacific. Twelve twenty Pacific. <laughs> so we're All on right. ties time for a while. It's time. It's time live. Uh, and we I can go back you. into the expo. Expo it up. This is kind of fun for the people wow, that look. maybe can't. Hey, here's our AC guys. Hey. Oh, no way. It's air. Oh, there's Jesse. Hey, what's up, Jesse? Jesse. Yeah, let's talk to him. Remember Jay? Absolutely. Okay, hey, what's up, Jesse? What's up, Mike? Good to see you guys. <laughs> Mike, we How got are to you? Talk to Mike a minute ago. Take it away. Okay. This straight. Okay, uh, I'm excited because you guys are transport guys, broker. That's right. So you're asset light or no yeah, asset? asset? No, no assets. assets. No uh, assets. Uh, no, we. Uh, it's a strategic advantage for us to to actually be um, on asset. And uh, sorry for the helicopter, but. Uh, you know, for us, we want to be able to service people everywhere, and that means making sure that our our focus is on brokering, right? And and I know broker can be sort of a dirty four-letter word, but um, we got in the business to change that, and I think we're effectively doing that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, for us, it's about making sure that we can service any size and scale with uh, our customers and, and uh, be ready to go. So we, we employ a team um, that does an amazing job, and it's really about trying to be ready for the next thing. And uh, so we keep our folks at about 80% capacity, so we're ready for the next jump, and then we can always hire and train, and, and we've got that pretty well. It's all about the communication and transparency. You know, that's how we're changing the broker game. Communication transparency. So when I talk to guys, brokers, say, example, you know, yeah. I, always, I always want to know, which, which do you need first or more? Do you need the customer that has the car? Or do you need the carrier to get the job done? Which is um, more, it's really tricky, isn't it? Oh, it is, it is. And so, you know, it, there's a school of thought that says, have the carrier pace first, right? Know who your carriers are, but how do you keep the carriers interested if you don't have the work for them, right? It's, it's just conjecture until the cars are real. So I think you have to, it's a mix, but I do think you have to have the work for them. Okay, so I get a call three a week. So hey, Ty, I found you on ATI want to become a broker sure all right i'm like who's your customer sure that's a that's a loaded question i ask it on purpose because yeah. i want to know what you think sure because i really don't know i got my opinion but i say who's your customer who what's your answer 
Well, our customer is anyone who has cars. Anybody who's moving a finished vehicle, mm -hmm. if it ever had wheels, that's our customer. Okay. Right? And uh, you know, you can get into specifics, but and honestly, well, no, I'm not looking for names exactly. No, so, no, no, right? Uh, like, okay, you're saying I would I would take what you just said and I would translate that to dealers, auctions, fleet. Yep. Is that fair? That uh, could be. Yeah, sure. That's part of it. Perfect. Finance companies, yeah. a whole bunch. Finance companies, repro Personally company. On, I mean, yeah, it can I, keep POV. I don't auto like POV. Auto remarketing. I don't like POV. I don't like uh, repo. Cohort, NIAA, salvage. No, thank you. Okay. Right. Do you guys play that game? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Big game? yeah. All right. Well, there's a ton of money to be made, right? Of course. Uh, but anyway, when I go back to okay, who's the customer? People that need cars put. Yeah. Finance companies, auctions, dealers, remarketing, POV, keep going. Yeah, the list keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I say, okay, but there's another customer. You have two. You've got the carrier. The carrier is actually your customer. Absolutely. So, that's true. <laughs> it's, <laughs> the dramatic effect. Yeah, I know, so right? It's, what? It, it's almost like you you did that on purpose. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. Maybe Jay remembers this from a previous conversation. But we, it is our, uh, it's not our motto, certainly, but it's something we live by. And we want to treat everyone like a customer. That's sort of a saying within our orientation. And that includes our people first, our carrier second, and our customers last on purpose. Because it's it's a tone at the top that's trickling down. Station identification live well, with ACI well, battery. transport. We need okay. the bag because the bag has the charger and the phone's about to die. But keep going. Okay. All right. So, you know, for us, it's at the top and it's about making sure that our people take care of our vendors, take care of our customers in there. And it has to go in that order. So tell me the order one more time. So it's our employees first. Employees. Then our vendors. It's in-house. our carriers. So approximately how many of you guys got? Uh, small sales about, back in? About, about 35, 40. Wow. Yeah, right, over the couple companies. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. big. So, and then our carriers are next in line. And we need to make sure they're taken care of because they're the ones doing the work. And when they get there, we're not with them. So, so uh, employees. Yes, sir. Next. Carriers. Your carriers, carriers and vendors. And vendors. Yep. Next. And then our customers. Okay. I like what you just said. That was always my model. Yeah. My drivers were always first. Absolutely. If I don't have them. I got a problem. Your employees yeah. at the 35, however many you got. Yep. Those are your number one. If you don't have them, nobody's going to get anything done. You got it. I mean, your carriers don't get the cars without talking to somebody on our team, right? So that's that. The it's important. So you guys actually talk to carriers on every, the phone? Every day. That's all we do. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Talking I mean, to carriers. I can pick the phone up and call and get, like, if I've got a problem, I can actually get a hold of somebody. Yeah, yeah that's my operations line right now. Someone would pick up. Yeah, it's not just a load board. It's not just a, uh, you know. A so you have technology. You just slipped yep. up there. Whoa. Oh, yeah. did you catch? I caught that one, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, technology so with people. Some technology. Ah. We do. We, we and people. Our, and people. And uh, so we developed an in house CMS because we just didn't love the, 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 off the shelf stuff that at the time and um it's a competitive advantage but look everybody has technology and all the brokers took the same thing but what's the difference the difference is the human beings it's uh, who you interact with and liking who you're talking to and trusting that they're telling you the truth i will show you my carrier rates i'll also just tell you when things go wrong because i'm here to help you fix them but you need to know about that so that you're not you know finding out when the driver doesn't show up two days later so it's it's super important. The human aspect is, I think, coming back around being the most important, right? Everybody's got technology. Everybody's streamlining. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? The human is the most important. Yeah, but my ETA is my ETA. Well, my theory is, is that technology sure is good, but if you don't have the human relationship, good luck. Because yeah. I talked to the guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. Okay, you just said it. You didn't even know you said it. Car haulers suck. Sure. I'll say it. Sure. Do you hear that, Jay? Oh man. Why? Why? Okay. But you know, hey, load, you've been ATI is load, a safe you know place. Two yeah. weeks ago, right? Yeah, sure. It's a safe Take place. Two weeks say to it. find out say where where are you? Where's my car? Yeah. That's when I say transporters suck. I'm saying it out of complete love because it's a lack of understanding, it's a lack of knowledge. You don't suck as an individual. You don't know the business that well. That's why we have ATI here. We talk to brokers, we talk to dealers, we talk to tech companies, but the broker and the dealer, in Ty's opinion, is 
the one you need to have that relationship with. And until you have that relationship yeah. and you understand what is needed in that relationship, right, Jesse, Mike, if, if I know what they need, I can help you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so the problem that I that drives me so crazy when we start talking about technology is I see this and I talk about it. What do you do? Who's your customer? I, I just use the load board and the dispatcher. Right. Okay, great. Um, do you have a lane? No, I'm just I load board dispatch. Okay. Yeah. Do you leave cards? Yeah, I leave cards everywhere I go. Sure. Oh, well, how's that working out? Well, they always call when I'm six states the other way. Uh -huh. Okay, have you considered a lane? What? Okay, sure. you're chasing money. And now, from real life experience, talking to real life people, that guy, that story I just told you, has a six month life expectancy. It's dead. Sure. It's gone. Sure. And that's what I get excited about. That's why my face changes color, my voice changes, and I'm like, look, stop. Yeah. Please slow yeah. down. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I know you need cars moved, and I know we need carriers. I, I'm full aware. Jay, we need carriers, don't we? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Everybody carriers. needs carriers. Everybody's a carrier, but if we have a bunch of carriers that don't know what they're doing around us, does that help you? Does that help you? Yeah, it makes it worse. No, you know, it's interesting, right? So we need we need carriers. And, and whether it's a driver shortage or a truck shortage or a chip shortage or whatever the reason, we all have to coexist, right? It's a, but just like in real estate, people use brokers all the time. It's not as, as poorly looked upon. And I think the reason is it's just it's a bad rep. It's a bad feeling. And but we're focused on one thing, and that's making sure that we take care of transport. When everybody else is doing other things, that's what we're doing. So whether you think about us as, you know, your outsourced transportation department or just somebody who's an expert, that's what we're doing, right? If you're really good at hauling cars, but maybe sales is hard, that's what we're doing for carriers. That's what I talk about, right? Yeah. If you don't have what it takes to go knock on doors, you're going to get, you need to get connected with a really, really good broker. Yeah. That is really what I tell people. Yeah. Until you understand that your business is not going to be your business, yeah, right. Well, and, and here's the thing. These these drivers need to be driving. They can't afford to, to spend the time that a, a conference like this takes. Yeah. Oh, right? no. But yeah. And we the money. To, well, and we get to come here and understand the pain points so that we can be better for our customers. Yeah, and so right. it benefits everybody. So, you know, I know um, there's some there's some bad feelings, but there are good ones out there. And it's not just us, right? There are. Oh, we. Yeah. Outside. And we're making some relationships with some brokers now. Uh, really good relationships yeah. and we actually this is funny like we got some negative feedback and from some folks mm -hmm. about a particular book and we like call them like hang on hey is this really happening yeah. oh yeah you yeah. might want to fix it because the word's getting out yeah. oh thanks for calling didn't know that was a problem yeah and that kind of a relationship and that you know i mean social media technology all these things are great but can be bad sure and sure i'm going to uh ACI transport, right? ACI. Yeah. Jay, anything? Man, I you know what, Jesse, I really appreciate it. It was cool is that we got to catch up at uh, it was used car news twenty nineteen. Used car news twenty nineteen. That's, That's when we met. met yeah, correct. Used yeah. car news twenty nineteen. And so and here we are. Yeah. And let's keep her going. Thank you so much. That's awesome. We're here. Yeah, Jay knew you. I just saw Mike standing here. I didn't know who he was. I'm like, come here. Yeah, I know. Hey, buddy. I, I had the privilege of uh, meeting Jay uh, at East Car Week 19. And, uh, you know, just been kind of staying in touch. We're in the same orbit. It's impossible not to. Great it's, shows, this industry isn't that relationships. Great, thank great you. shows, awesome. relationships. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. All right, pleasure. I'll see you guys around. Yeah, of course. Thanks yeah, for taking we'll the time. Around all week. Reconnecting. All right, I gotta go see if we're done in here. Yeah. Charge. All right, better. yeah, we're yeah. gonna run. We're gonna run out. Well, you know, let's play. Sometimes you just gotta let that gas oh, tank run to the we're bottom. There. No, oh, we're there. Cool. Awesome, awesome, nice. Uh, we're, we're, oh, we gotta be one. 30 so we got time to charge oh you're fine yeah you're good you're gonna charge and we're gonna yeah, um 130 i'm replying to an email over here you know we we're supposed to have a meeting and i blew that uh because i've got okay so how about for matt jones yeah. is still over here Come on. all right so i'm gonna try to reschedule that meeting i'll take care of that working on that always working on scheduling because we're supposed to have a meeting today but we're going to continue to be live we're going to be live for another i got that anyways oh is that anthony greenhalch what's up anthony sure was. rapid recon 
Okay, cool. Oh, you're back what about in the these room. These guys right here. Did I meet? Did I introduce to these guys? I don't know. Did I meet? Did you guys meet my buddy Jay? That's guy. Right there. That's all right. All right, cool. Uh, they're YouTube guys. They have a car car channel. Oh, okay. That's not the car guy, car guy coffee podcast. Uh. -uh. There's a few. Oh, is that buy here pay here morning show? Uh, I don't want to interrupt him. But yeah, let me no, see. no. The other guy's on the phone. He's talking to that guy. There's a few. There's a few other YouTubers here at the show, which is great. We should say yeah. hello to all of them. All right, cool. Yeah. So you got hey, your bag, buddy. and yeah, we got, got plenty bag. of time. It's twelve thirty. We don't, dude. We don't interview E Block for an hour. So whatever okay, you want to just take a break, or we're yeah, just going to just keep going. I'll tell you what. Why don't we do that? Why don't we take? Let's take another. Yeah, let's take a fifteen minute break. I'm good with that. Let's take a 15 minute Unless break. I'm walking back out. If I can get Matt Jones. Whoa. Oh, yeah, exactly. All right. Well, we'll stay. Oh, he's we'll still stay talking. Here. Okay. All right. So he's let's do talking. it. I would love that. I could just maybe oh, cut yeah. him up. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Show him Jay. Matt. My buddy Jay. Remember Jay? Hey, Matt. Hey, 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 what's hey, up, man? Hey, How hey, you hey, doing? Hey, good Jack. to see you. Good for me for my son's car, man. I, I really appreciate awesome. it. Awesome, awesome. I, I, I know, thank I know. You. But thank you for giving me the information and put me on the right path. Without you, I wouldn't have known what to do. You made this thing that was kind of weird and hard. You made it so much easier, Jay. I'm always going to be in your favor. I'm going to try wow. to check, uh, miss, find out Mr. Thompson a little bit later and catch you a little bit. Wow, that was amazing. Ooh, Did you guys you hear that? that Whoa. Wow. Live. That is awesome. Wow. So what he's talking he about is I get random emails. Hey, can you help me move this car, this and that? And oh. I... And I send it over oh, to Sue or that. whoever. And I, I mean, I can't keep track of who sends me these emails. And I don't move cars. <laughs> and I, I don't even, I didn't get any money out of it. I don't worry about it. I want people to be taken care of. You know? Same here. I give Sue a lot. And oh, I yeah. never hear Dude. how that goes either. Not, you know, not, I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's, no, just, it's nice to know you can hand it off and not worry about it. Sue is doing great from her long relationship with ATI and, and we love Sue so thank you Murphy Auto Transport Services yeah thank you uh, awesome. okay so we just said break or what yeah what let's take decide? a break so we're gonna we'll okay, break for at least 15. 10 minutes yeah let's let's shoot for 15 10 to 15 are you just uh putting everything on hold or are we gonna come back to another link we're gonna keep soon? the stream going okay I'll edit it out later so let's plan on 15 get a bite to eat Use your cooling towel, and I'll see yeah, you yeah. back here at about. Uh, let's let's shoot for ten till it's twelve thirty-seven. I'll see you back here somewhere around twelve fifty. It's gonna go fast. Okay. Oh yeah, it'll go fast. All right, All so right. go plug in and stuff, and we'll be back. All right, cool. I'm gonna get juiced up. All right, perfect. Everybody, get all juiced up. I'm Jay. This is ATI. It's NIADA Convention and Expo 2022. Ty is live on the expo floor. And we'll be back soon. So I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put up the screen image. We'll be right back. We're gonna stay live. I'll edit it later. Fix it in post. All right, here we go.
we're back. Welcome back to ATI, the Car Shipping Business Channel. So it's still day one. We're at NIADA Convention 2022 and Expo Hall. We have Ty. We've been doing live interviews. We had many things happen this morning. We had uh, we kicked off the day. We had Bob Voltman, CEO of NIADA, Michael Graubert of Michael's Motors, Anthony Greenhall, Rapid Recon, Greg Zach, Dixon Motors, Michael Barrow of CDK Car. CDK Global, talking about car source. Uh, we also caught up with Jerry Ogris and Russell at Work Truck Solutions. Terry, uh, working with legal documents at Reynolds and Reynolds. Ed Curry, NIADA. Wow, that was a great interview too with Ed. We took a break and then we met with. Uh, we have David Corella of Colorado Independent Auto Dealers Association. And then we caught up with Mike and Jesse at ACI Transport. So that is what we've been doing today. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to send Ty a text. We are back. And so uh, this will be our final segment today. Now, I apologize. I had a man. I had a meeting scheduled for this afternoon, but we're still going to be live. So I'm sorry about that. What we're doing is, <clears throat> so, you know, Ty on Fridays on Cars in the Move, he likes to connect dealers, auctions, and carriers. So we are in independent car dealer heaven at the NIADA Convention and Expo 2022. So Ty, randomly, well, we also have some meetings scheduled, mostly with folks that work at NIADA, but randomly meeting with dealers. We also have some appointments with some of the Expo Hall exhibitors, which... I want to point that out. Let's do this. Let's go to... Let's take a look here at the... Uh, we'll bring Ty in here in a minute. You do What you do is you go... If you want to learn more about what we're talking about, you can go to NIADA.com. That is the organization's main page. And also, shout out to Used Car News. We're here. We're live with Used Car News in the Used Car News booth. 549 on the expo floor. Now what I wanted to show you was, and by the way, so here's the map. Here's the NIADA expo map. And um, so we're right here if you walk in. Uh, there we are. Used car news. Booth 549. And so you can see I can hover over and this shows booths nearby. Oh, there's backlot cars. There's CDK Global. We should catch up with Michael Barrow at his booth at CDK Global. There's, man, there's all kinds of businesses up here. And so what we're going to do is in 30 minutes, see if I can find it. We talked to Kinetic Advantage yesterday. We're going to catch up with eBlock. Booth 356 eBlock. We're going to talk to Simon at eBlock. That's coming up in 30 minutes. I also want to show you the agenda. Um, this was today. Check this out. ATI. You see that? Look at that. ATI was in the media room at 1030. That's where Ty talked to uh, Robert Boltman, CEO. Now tomorrow, and actually, and these are, oh, there's still sessions going on because it is... So it's almost one o'clock Pacific time. Well, let's back that up. Let's see what's happening here. Expo Hall. Oh, Independent Dealer Podcast. Yeah, we knew there was a few other channels at NIADA that we need to catch up with. So it looks like the so folks might be at lunch right now. Oh wow, the Independent Dealer Podcast. Wow, they're spending an hour. They're like ATI. That's an hour and 45 minutes in the media room. How interesting. I wonder if we could catch some of that live. Check engine light at 2. Finance fair. Oh, yes. Um, who was that? Somebody was talking about the finance fair. can't remember who that was. I'm not sure what that is. It tells you where it's located. Preparing for the electric era. Fixed ops regulations how to compete against the big guys cpo program 
merchandising, NIADA certified 360 tech net shop, power of tech, F&I, consumer buying behavior. Oh, here we go. NIADA 20 groups. This is pretty cool. So when we interviewed Ed Curry earlier, Ed was talking about how he thought it'd be a great idea to incorporate auto transport into a dealer 20 group. And he was serious. He even said, he's like, no, I'm serious about this. Well, that's great. Fantastic. Because we're serious about building community too, which is what 20 groups are all about. So at the NIADA, what a 20 group is, is about 16 dealers get together and share best practices, build community. That's what we've done with car shipping roundtables. So if we can mix car shipping roundtable with NID, NIADA 20 group, are you kidding me? Absolutely we're interested. So I'm going to follow up with Ed on that. That is pretty neat. Let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> There's lots of software financing information and technology happening. Uh, affordable leasing, warranties. You know, because when you think about a dealership, and I know, we, we got there's a couple folks in the live chat that do not want to talk about dealers. I get it. But as we talked about even on Friday, where to find loads. Okay, you can either bang your head against the load board or go talk to somebody. Which is why I say, where'd you get that idea? Now, I'm not saying, neither one's easy. But here, we ask the question. Here's a good question. Is it easier to bang your head? Music, please. Game show music. Is it easier to bang your head against a load board every day, day after day, or walk up and talk to somebody? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> There's Ty is out there. He's still talking to Dillis. That's great. Um, so is it easier? That's the question. And because maybe after another year of banging your head against the load board, you'll just go talk to somebody. I ain't saying it's easy. It's not. And there's all other strings attached. You know, well, here's the expectations. Here's where I run. But the sooner you start talking to people, the sooner you're going to find out which one of those is easier. And I'll tell you what, you know, if you watch this channel long enough, you know that I was a dispatcher. Which is why on Thursdays I have a mug of problems. And, um, and I still have that mug of problems. And those are all real problems that I had as a dispatcher staring at load boards all day. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it any longer. I had to launch this channel and talk about how we got it. We got to we got to start talking. Got to build community. So all right. So I I think all right, Jay, you drove that horse into the ground. What else we got here? Oh, okay. So at five thirty, they got the expo hall reception. Great. We won't be live for that either. Thank goodness, Jay. You actually going to take a break? Okay. So, but we're going to be back at it tomorrow. Let's see if we're on the list. There's more stuff in the morning. Risk. More 20 groups. Ooh, look at this. I think this is it. Oh, Dr. Oh, Dr. Color Chip. But I think Anthony Greenhalch is tomorrow. Let's see if we can find him. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I think he was. Let's see. Let's take a look here. These things are always really interesting to look at. Oh, look, Liam and Savvy. Boy, she is um very busy on social media. 321 Ignition. She's been on ATI. Oh, I think maybe it's Anthony on a panel. Oh, there. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Showroom technology that drives success. Ed Curry, who was on ATI earlier today, is going to have a panel with, okay, Rapid Recon. Anthony Greenhalgh. We know him. Okay, so we need to meet. So, Randy Kobat. Jesse Martin and Jeff McCurry. Interesting. All right, I'm going to run this past Ty so that he knows about that. He can go to that one. We're not going to be live at that point, but maybe we can talk about it because I think let's see. Oh, oh we're not okay. We're not on the list, 
But we're going to be back in the media room at 11 a.m. tomorrow. And then we're going to make it back to the booth at 11.30. And we're going to be live until... So there's this... Look at this. Okay, we're going to catch this. We're going to go off the air after the live car auction benefiting NIADA. That's tomorrow. That's great. I showed you the map. Uh, let's see here. And... See if ties... No. Um, okay, so we got exhibitors. Let's see. ACV is a diamond partner. Right? AutoZone. Interesting. I wonder what AutoZone's doing at the show. We should stop by and say hello. Carfax. Interesting. I wonder if Carfax intersects with transport at all. We know Cox Automotive has Central Dispatch, but here's a question. Does Cox Automotive bring Central Dispatch to the show? I mean, I think you can talk about Central Dispatch, but I don't know if they bring it. I don't know if you'll see any Central Dispatch wording at the Cox Automotive booth. That'd be curious. Let's, let's find out more about that. Um, let's make some notes. We want to talk to Ty about uh, the 9 a.m. with Anthony. We want to find out Cox Central Dispatch. I don't know. Really good question. CDK Global, we met Michael. I don't know if we have a connection at Pastime. And I think maybe that was from Richard Brin that I heard of that. What is Vehicles Network? Wow. Let's talk to Vehicles Network. Dealer Center. Okay, here's Capital Company. Lenders. Agora. We were talking about Agora. What does Agora do? Empowers independent auto dealers and finance companies. Oh, it's capital. Agora is capital. Okay. You see a lot of that. Uh, Matt, who we caught up with before the break, loves ATI. Matt is with Car Gurus. Cars.com is here. And so what you do when you go to a trade show is if you can get a list of exhibitors, a list of attendees, just keep looking over them. Keep walking around. Keep looking over it. Say hello. Listen, if it's your first trade show, that's fine. Try to say hello to somebody every 30 minutes. And don't go back to your room. You cannot go back to your room for at least four hours. Don't do it. Unless you got to make a phone call or do some work. If you do need to go back to your room to make a phone call do some work when you're off the phone... Do not sit and watch TV. Get back down there. You're at a trade show. It'll be over soon enough. And there's you can't meet everybody. So you, I want you to try. Real advice. Let's see what else we've got here. Um, oh, Auto Sled. Look at that. Auto Sled is an exhibitor. And I'm going to click on Finance Fair. Oh, there's ties. Checking in. Finance Fair. Next Gear, ACV, Agora. Interesting. Kinetic Advantage, who we met yesterday. See, I. When I don't. And that's what. Isn't that interesting? You're seeing it live. I don't know a company's name. I just keep scrolling. <clears throat> that's why you want to get to know companies. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Ty, can you see me and hear me okay? Hey, Jay. I can uh, hear you pretty good. Um, yeah, I can see you. Yeah, we're there. All right, cool. Sorry. Um, no, you're good. I don't good. have a lot of battery, but well, I think I've got enough to get us through the next few. Well, you, we don't go live for 20 minutes. You want to charge some more? You can. Oh, wow. Yeah, if you don't care, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what. Just one. Yeah. yeah, keep charging, and we'll come back to you in 10 minutes. How about that? Awesome. Yeah, thank you. All right, cool. Uh, right, yeah, so. and I don't have my phone, so I'll, I'm just kind of timing it. But, yeah, another 10 would definitely be helpful. All right, keep charging. We'll come back. That sounds great. Okay, thanks, man. Yeah, man. Um, all right, and that's another, right? Live, you, right when you're live at the show, yeah, make sure you plug everything in in the morning. Sometimes phones die too fast, right? So we're still studying. If you're just joining me now, thank you so much. Uh, station identification, ATI, the Car Should Be Business Channel. My name is Jay. 
We're going to be live. Here's what's happening. In 20 minutes, we have a uh, interview. Mic check, one, two, three. We have an interview in 20 minutes with Simon at eBlock. Um, that's our last segment today. Then we're going to end for the day. And so Ty is out and about. He's in the used car news booth with um, Colleen Fitzgerald. She's the owner. And Jeff Ballant, managing editor. We've had several interviews live in the booth. But we're looking at... Because you get this stuff, right? You get the Whether you got the app or, you know, what do you have? And you're looking at who's here, why are they here. Gosh, Westlake Financial is a company you see all the time. Let's look at the speakers. Scott Allen, okay, N-I-A-D-A. Here, let's make that bigger so we can see it. Ed, ooh, Arbitration and Insurance at Odessa, interesting. Jerry at CarQuest. These are the speakers again. Chris at Agora Data. Mike, Newport Motors. David, Dave's Greenlight Auto Sales. Jeremy, APCO Holdings. William, Oak Street Funding. Janine, Star Auto. Scott, Crossroads Strategies. Reed, All Data. Kendra from Brown Family Auto Sales. Marketing and Financial Manager. Cool. I wonder what she's speaking about. I wonder if we can click on this, find out. See, Kendra. Oh, it's a buy here, pay here. Ty loves that. So what I could do then, I go over to LinkedIn. And I'm going to type in, let's see, Kendra Brown. Let's see if she pops up. Mm, sometimes I have to drill down further. It's common name. Let's go auto. There she is, Kendra Brown, marketing strategy. Oh, looks like we're already connected. Okay, cool. Great. Well then, uh, I wonder if she's wonder what she's speaking about. Let's see. Can we find her? Uh, oh, okay. She spoke. Oh, women driving change in auto industry. You know. Let's click on it because Ty had we had we had a guest early yesterday and I didn't have her name. And, oh, here it is. It's Candace. Candace Price was on the show yesterday. Great. And I make notes of the names because then that, that pops up later on uh, in the description under the video. Candace Price, Home Team Auto Sales. Let's go over to LinkedIn and put in Candace. This is called networking. We're networking live with ATI. Candace Price, there she is, business owner. Home Team Auto Sales. Great. And Send Connection. There we go. Uh, Tina was on that. Brenna. Oh, I think we saw her at a different show. And Melanie Wilson of NIADA. Fantastic. Oh, and Janet. She's been helping connect us. That's great. Oh, and there's the uh, there's the there's a picture of the panel right there. Oh, there's a ton of information up here. So let's see here. What else do we need to look at? Not that one. Let's go to. Okay, let's click there. Let's zoom out on this again. Okay, so this is what are tracks? Tracks are oh, so this is kind of like. All right, so buy here, pay here. Operations, retail, sales and marketing, and service. Let's click on, I like sales and marketing. Internet leads. So does auto transport, do we have anything like this? Like, what would the tracks be for, an, for let's say, ATI convention? Fine. What would ATI convention have for tracks? So we'd have... Uh, Let's try. Let's see if we can figure this out live. And if you're watching and you have any suggestions, let us know what would ATI convention have for tracks. Um. Well, I mean, connecting with dealers, auctions, oh, brokers, dispatch, car haulers. OEMs, 
tech, insurance compliance. Mm, wow. Okay. Well, that worked out pretty well. So then if you click on track, then what happens? Then it tells you the different sessions that contain this type of interest, as well as others. So you could have sales and marketing pre-owned panel. This is a really cool, I wonder what, what uh, by RD Mobile. Wow, this is cool. View other events. No, I don't have any other events locked in here. Wow. I like this. I like this platform. <clears throat> advertising. Oh, this is social media advertising. Man. Now, what would we put that under? Because, you know, you've heard, you heard me talk about this. Do you have a business card? Do you have a website? All right. That's good. Just those two things. And then how about, how about branding that you wear? Do you wear, like, do you wear a uniform? Do you have a hat? Do you have a title and name tag? All right. So you get your business card, your website, and you wear some branding. Now, how's the truck? Does, I mean, you, obviously you have the, uh, your MC number and your company name on the side of the truck but do you have any branding to your truck do you have a logo do you have a wrap i know that gets expensive now do you have an elevator pitch you know hi this is my name is my company is our running lane is we specialize in we have a small fleet or i drive a five car hauler Kind of like, uh, did you see Ty earlier was talking to Work Truck Solutions about, okay, and he said specifically, and this got their attention. Since they're moving a lot of trucks, Ty said, well, how about, uh, not a semi, but he, he says beer truck. It's not a dually, though, that's for sure. So, like, let's say a semi with a five-car Sun Country um, that can you know the uh i don't know which model that is he knows where you can load in the belly maybe you have a wider spot that you can also you got hydraulics on that that's the trailer unit so maybe that's what you say hey i have a five car sun country we specialize in moving trucks here's the name of my company here's the website here's my business card you see the branding you've met me now you're ready at this point you are ready to walk into a dealership, walk into an auction, walk into a trade show, and start talking to people and introduce yourselves. And you'll see that. You'll watch that. Booth after booth, everybody has that. Business card, website, branding, elevator pitch, purpose. And when they don't, they wish they did. You'll see that too. Look for the folks that don't have their elevator pitch ready. That is Business Marketing 101. Cool. This looks like an interesting Facebook. Okay, that's tomorrow. Um, I'm going to I think I'm going to try to connect with We saw it again. Janine. Let's see. Janine Is it Janine Broncal? Kale. Let's check it out. Janine owner General Manager, Star Auto Sales. I'm just going to hit connect. That's another thing I look for. Anybody already marketing themselves or being visible, speaking, sessions, panels, advertising, those are companies ready to talk. When you see visibility, bring on your visibility. There's Janine. Cool. Cool. All right, what else we got here? Um, oh, now exhibitors. Let's see if... Okay, cool. Here's more exhibitors. Carketa. Which... And that's another thing. As you approach a trade show, look for articles that will set off topics that you might hear about or you could talk about. We heard about uh, this dealer mall. This made industry news... Dealer Mall USA made industry news last night on ATI. Um, Dealer Mall, and then Bob Voltman was talking about it. 
It's an online car buying experience. It helps independent car dealers sell online and compete with larger companies and also is associated with NIADA. So look for those news articles. A to Z Sync. Definitely want to... I, I keep hearing the name A to Z Sync. I want to meet and learn and connect. I, I think they talk transport as well. Oh, look at Auto Quoter. Interesting. Let's check that out. Auto Quoter. It's a platform. It's a service. Wow. CRM DMS. Wow. We need to find out who these guys are. Auto Quoter. I'm going to put that on the list. Booth 529. Let's see if I click on it. Do I get any names? No, I get a map. Okay. All right. Let's go back. Let's keep going here. This is pretty interesting. Oh, backlot cars. Do they have... Okay, well, we'll have to see if we can say hello. What's AutoVision do? Oh, data. Okay. Data analytics. Auto Suite. Digital marketing and advertising. There we go. Sounds pretty good. Hmm. Auto Suite. Cool. What else do we have? Just doing this, you learn a lot. CarMax Auctions. Man, I want to talk to them, too. CarMax Auctions. So you start making a list of companies you want to talk to and learn more from. We talked to Car Now at Digital Dealer. Good there. Hey, what's up, Ty? We're looking at companies. You know, I'd love to. I'm going to... Oh. <laughs> I guess I... I said something wrong. Hotel. Oh, Dealer Mall USA is there. Cool. Yeah. I want to I wanna talk to them, too. Dealer Mall. Okay, we're going to talk to E-Block in... Oh, that's in 10 minutes. Hey, buddy. Hey, listen. Uh, we're looking at... Check this out. Here's some companies I want to talk to. Okay. A to Z Sync. Yeah. Uh, auto Quoter. Okay. Uh, yeah, I saw the Auto Quoter guys just a second ago. I, I great. think we can talk to them. Oh, awesome. Um, auto Suite is digital marketing. Social media. Sounds interesting. Like lots yeah. of social media. Um, also, good. How are you, buddy? Good to see you again. What are you doing here? Are you lost? Oh, we're lost. He's but, lost. Uh, who's right here? You didn't even see us. What? We met at Digital Dealer. We did yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember. Um, it was, you guys do the photos. <laughs> you didn't, he said, <laughs> you didn't come see us. He said. We're the best product on the well, market. you didn't come see us. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go oh, see you e us now? Okay, good. And then I'll come and see you again. Wonderful. You ready? Sounds good. Um, UCN, is this, they're owned by NID, NIADA, no? Uh, no, they're their own independent news organization. Oh, but they have a magazine and stuff. Yeah, huh? yeah. If I were oh. you, I would look into, yeah. uh, get on that, right? Go yeah. to usecarnews.com. They, 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 they dealers actually, like, go through and read these That's magazines? for real. You think paper's not it? It is. And dealers love it, so they actually look at it. Okay, because I know yeah. NIADA has, like, three or four magazines as well that they have, that they have, but I don't know if they're as helpful. This one's niche. This one's so. Really niche. If you're joining us now, we're live. Ty's going to be talking to Simon at eBlock here in a few minutes, um, and hey, what's happening? How's it going? Glow 3D. Yeah, of course, Glow 3D. 3D. Yeah. We saw him in uh, but, uh, me, digital, yeah, dealer. digital Dealer in Tampa, exactly. Digital Dealer. That was a really good show. Yeah. Here comes Colleen. Let me introduce you to Colleen. Oh, awesome, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> she's, she's who you want to deal with. Colleen, you got a second? Hey, yeah. Um, <laughs> I met Keen, Keen, am I saying it right? And uh, Digital Dealer Tampa. They're heavy into the dealer world. And I told him that he really should talk to you about your magazine oh, advertising. Yeah. Because you guys have a lot of dealer traffic, and I think you guys should yeah. talk about it. Okay, I'm going to head on down. Thank you. Okay. That's what we do at ATI is we connect. 
We connect yeah, more the... than dealers, auctions, and carriers. In case anybody oh, didn't know, there's the Glow 3D booth. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> but that's what I really enjoy doing. What I do is, is you know, I had a guy today. He's like, how come you don't have trucks? How come I... I'm so passionate about this right now. If I had trucks, it would be bad for everybody, right? I, I need to do my best to help everybody else do a better job. That's my calling in life right now. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Hey, there's E-Block. Okay, who am I looking for? What's, uh, here he is, Simon. Is it, what was his name? Yeah, so we're going to meet with Simon. Simon. Yeah, let me see if I can get more information. Yeah, um, Simon, Simon Jones. Time. Simon yeah, Jones. Okay. Yeah. What I'd like to do is set the camera here, maybe us. Try to get the booth Great. So Ty is lining up the yeah. shot. I love that. So we're going to get the lighting right. We're going to get the 4K. We're going to need 10K over there. Uh, we're going to need to dig a ditch because we're going to run a dolly track this way. And, How do you like that, Jay? Oh, perfect. Here we go. I love it. That looks great. Perfect. Looks great. There you go. You like that? No, well, let's look at Jay. How's that? Simon. You know Jay? Have you met Jay? I have no, no. No, okay, Simon, this is Jay. It. Jay's the founder of ATI. We're the car shipping business channel. We come from transportation. That's our world. But what we've noticed over 247 back-to-back -back shows going live four wow. times a week, me being one of those four in a transport parking lot on a Friday at a physical auction, we talk about the dealer. We love the dealer. We love the auction. Good. As a carrier community, we're lacking. We need your help to inform us, to educate us, tell us what you need, tell us how your product works. So Jay's taken the time, a long time, well, I think we're at five years now, building this channel, building a community that's all-inclusive for Agnostic. So the audience is mainly transport? Uh, we have transport a really good mix. We have transport, we have uh, dealers, dealers auctions. And we have auctions, and we have a lot of technology. Lots of tech. Okay. To an end. So we have about 13,500 subscribers. We Our views are small, but it's who's watching, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's quality, right? So we know who's watching. And what our message is, is we want to educate everybody, as many people as we can, to do a better job. Mm -hmm. So we get excited when we get to meet Ebok. Mm -hmm. I get personally super excited because I heard you guys have been buying some stuff lately. Yeah. What have you been buying? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Recent, most recent acquisition was uh, Louisiana First uh, auction down there. Uh, Louisiana First, that was big news, by yeah. the way, and we covered that mm -hmm. on our awesome. show Tuesday night. Thank you. We talked a long time about it, didn't we, Jay? We did. We did. <laughs> yeah. uh, and we, we look at that, and we start asking questions, mm -hmm. right? So this isn't the first one you bought. No. There's another one. Well, actually, that isn't the first either. There's four. Four? So, because... We joined the U.S. Um, in July of last year by purchasing ABS auto auctions in Southern California. Now, that was a more digitally focused platform, but we do have physical presence in every market that ABS operate. E-Block now operates, but previously ABS. Then uh, we also purchased um, an auction in Quebec. Oh, wow. Uh, and then, so that's two. And then Fastlane, you probably heard about in Michigan. Fastlane, I just learned about that one today. Or yesterday, okay. from one okay. of your guys. Yep. It was, yeah, it was those two. They told okay. me about that one, because I was so excited. I knew something about the Louisiana. You know, yeah. Like, oh, that's old news. Now, they didn't tell me Quebec and California ABS. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So okay. um, that was that was how we entered the U.S., was by purchasing ABS. ABS had uh, a network of... When, when we talk about auctions, these are really more marshalling yards, holding yards. There was no physical lanes at ABS. It was a digital sale, right? And we are first a digital platform, but to bring this full circle to you, why are we purchasing auctions like Louisiana first? Listen, Jay, this is good. He's this guy's on it. I like this. Okay, <laughs> no, you're okay. You're on. Um, so, uh, contrary to maybe the popular view in the auction industry right now, we see a tremendous need for a physical presence. Commercial customers, many dealers, right? What we want to be able to do is allow you to buy the car upstream, downstream, the way you want to do it. However, you want to acquire or dispose of your inventory, right? What we're really focused on is 
providing a consistent service level no matter how you do that, right? Because there are different things that go into transacting digitally or physically, right? I think we all understand the services we get from a physical option. And as you can see from our platform behind me, um, we've really tried to recreate that physical environment by running 10 lanes in an event-based uh, scheduled time. So everybody knows you push all the buyers and sellers in together, right? Create sort of that emotional atmosphere that you had in the physical lane. Um, and we think that increases uh, returns for our sellers. It increases selection for our buyers, right? And it does more in less time. And you'll see a lot of our slogans are around time, right? We're trying to use the think of our dealer partners and what's important to them. And the one thing everybody oh, like the button. time. Right? So we, time. Oh, we can. Sorry. The there we go. Okay. We're good. So, yeah, so uh, really, you start off with something that resonates with me because it's really at the forefront of what we do at EDOC, and that is we're trying to listen to our dealers and have them guide us on how we can get better. We think we've got a great platform, we think we've got an excellent strategy, you know, but there's a lot of pieces that come in in detail under that on how we serve our customers better. Right? Absolutely. You know, so. What, which is, I mean, I'm, I'm hearing you talk. Like I talk, right? You know, I, I like that. So my background story is I started transporting cars with a little one ton and a little three car. Five years later, I had 20 semis. Oh, wow. New, right? Did I know how to haul cars? No, I really didn't. Yeah. Did I know anything about business? Maybe a little. I went to college. I, mm -hmm. You know, I, I bought a business, sold a business before I got transport, but I didn't know anything about the car business. So I like to talk about how I learned transportation. It wasn't going through transportation school. It was heavily invested in my relationship with my local car dealer, listening to them, understanding them. Why do they need their cars so bad so fast, right? Mm -hmm. So I hear you saying as an as a auction platform, as a wholesale arena, right? Is that, is that how you say it? Yeah. You're still concerned. Even You guys are big. You guys are a big name, mm -hmm. but you're still telling me that you're concerned with what the car dealers' needs are, mm -hmm. which is really impressive. Yeah. I mean, that's how you're growing. That's how you're changing. Well, I mean, um, I, I, we have two more similar backgrounds, I think, than you think. I joined EDROP in October of last year, uh, and I'm the least auction experienced person here. And what I mean by that is I've been in the car business probably for 20, 20 something years, we'll go with now. I won't. You know, we'll keep your audience guessing a little bit a little on my bit, age. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I spent 15 years with Enterprise. I worked for Automation for a minute. I worked for our Highline chain in Northern California. That's very well known, the Nilo company. Um, I've, I've been around a bunch of different things, and I was always infatuated with the auction as a customer, right? And I love this environment. When I got the opportunity to work here, I jumped at it. But this is the third uh, business I've ever entered where I'm the least experienced person, right? And I've learned how to turn that from maybe a potential weakness to a strength, right? In that it makes you listen to your people, it makes you empower your people. And we really have that culture at Evo to it fit nicely. And, you know, Jason McClanahan, our CEO, they built the business in Canada from an evolution. We're all somewhat car guys, right? So where versus, you know, other people in, in different spaces, right? Might be tech people first and that kind of stuff. So we've really built this whole thing from the Canadian roots by listening to the customer. And it's constantly iterating, right? We're, I couldn't tell you how many times I'm feeding just no development ideas. You know, I've heard, I think three of them today from just talking to customers who used our platform. Not enough sound, right? Things like that. How, well, how could we incorporate sound? So just these little things that make it more of an exciting platform to, for dealers to use, right? Because the reason uh, back, certainly pre-COVID, people were more familiar with being in the lane was it was comfortable, right? I went to talk to my buddy, Ty. I learned more about the industry from Ty, right? I got to touch the car, but I might go there even if I didn't need cars oh, that yeah. week because it's, that's just what I do, right? That's my... So, you know, we've got to keep that narrative going even in a digital world. And that's why we hire great people who are out consulting with their customer first, right? How can we help you? What need can we fill for you? Whether that's appraisals, whether that's wholesale, whether that's purchasing, you know, whether you, what services do you want along with that, right? You, you pay the target for us and let us have an opportunity to earn that business from you. So, so let's talk about eBot for a minute because I, what you said is what I believe. 
I, I would go to the I, I was the guy I would drive all night long delivering your cars so I could be back at the auction the next auction tomorrow before you got there because you know you go into the, the, the little cafeteria you get your coffee hey Bob how's it going hey John how are you doing Jim Tim Bob you know just keep going what are you doing and that's and I think I heard you say something with eBlock that it's a it's a scheduled time it's an event. Mm-hmm. So, uh, during a virtual idea of what you and I, I think, really enjoy in real life, which is we all meet at the same place at the same time and we do the same thing. Mm-hmm. So, tell us more about that with the eBlock. So, you- um, eBlock is currently in the US. We run two scheduled events in each market on a Tuesday and a Thursday. Uh, we run three, about 3,000 cars a week. Um, so, we have a sizable consignment. Um, you know, and in a digital space, getting cons- getting consignment uh, is less challenging, right? Because you don't have to necessarily move your car to me unless you want to. If you do, we call it a transport friend and we get your cars hauled into our physical facility and maybe you want to wash them back or whatever you want to do, right? But um, like I said, it's, it's scheduled events up to 10 lanes, depending on which market we're talking about. Uh, all the dealers, can, the inventory is loaded up from the night before, right? So you've still got you've got to do your homework. The car comes across the block, runs for 60 seconds, right? So again, think about the physical world, right? You don't go and, and see a nice shiny car and think I'm going to bid on that because it's got a brand new tire or it's got a or you better be paying attention and it's the same with our site right so you do your homework before you add the cars to your watch list you get a load when they're coming up um, and you and you bid on your cars and it all takes place in roughly a minute right it extends out you know in, uh, if someone bids right at the end you know in the 59th second because the deal's not over extends for another 10 seconds so for generally speaking you know, a minute to a minute 20 seconds we auction a car and it happens fast right we create that energy and dealers respond uh, really, really well because they understand the platform because most of them have purchased cars in a physical environment, right? And it resonates with them. Uh, so we also do have a time product, uh, which is more similar to say like an eBay, right? Where you can we do that over the weekend where you can launch your car on the weekend and it has a set ending time on a Monday morning. Uh, that's not uh, not as widely used uh, and that's not really our trademark product, right? Our trademark product is this, this 10 lane option. So, so, uh, so now yeah. let's talk about practical, practical, because I heard you say something that got my attention. You got a, a, you're making a presence in, in the States, mm-hmm. and this is a, a virtual auction. So uh, any auction, physical auction, needs minimum three things. So my, uh, a buyer, a seller, and a car. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. So you're, you have dealers in the States that want to use your service or you have sales reps that make the relationship. Mm-hmm. Now let's try. Mm-hmm. And are we, we can leave the cars here on your lot mm-hmm. or we can take them to our place, which, whichever works, which right. you want, Mr. Yep. Dealer. Mr. Yep. Dealer says, oh, I'll just take them to the auction. Let's okay. do that one first. Yes. Uh, usually I would assume you're making those deals probably within a certain geographical location. Mm-hmm. You're not going mm-hmm. way far away, right? Yeah. So we have 11 lots in the West and we're primarily doing that's what we call inside the gate business. Inside the right? gate. So, and that's why um, we would bring, like you said, we would sweep your cars. You got Ty calls me, I got eight trays and one on this weekend time. Great, we'll schedule drivers to come out there Monday morning. Then we bring them into our facility. We do the full inspection condition report in our facility. Um, is how that one will work, right? We hold the car for you just like a physical sale. It just runs on a digital block, right? So it never it never travels through with people bidding on it, right? Uh, so that's the inside the gate model. If you called me and said you have eight uh, vehicles on the outside the gate model, we send the inspector to you, right? And so in your lot, uh, we'll perform the same CR process. It's key to have consistent CRs, right? From, uh, we consistent are the CRs, Jay. This yep. is a big topic in transportation, consistent CR, which is a big topic for dealers. It, it's huge. That's big where it all starts, right? If, yeah. if you want to do the reason people, the other reason other than meeting their buddies on a Tuesday at the auction is they touch the car. They feel more confident in it. So the quality of our condition report, and then we have a product called Assurance, which guarantees what sure. we're showing you. So okay. Assurance, so think of it. Um, like if this, if you get the car tie, you're now the buyer, right? You purchase your car through our auction, you get it, and and you discover something that we've either missed on the inspection or just couldn't tell from the inspection that we do, 
can call us up and you're talking to uh, us. just went through the screen. It was insurance. insurance. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a big thing. because instilling that confidence in people to buy a car that when you're their eyes and ears and they haven't heard. They want to know what their recourse is, right? Because Yeah. Um, well, and they had a big meeting just yesterday with uh, NAAA, mm -hmm. Trisha Henron. Okay. She's up there on stage with, uh, there was an independent auction guy, I believe, Tom. There was another Kevin, uh, Mannheim guy, and Odessa guy. And this is what you're talking about. It's a big conversation. Yeah. How I huge. This is, uh, this is really um, where the digital race potentially will be won and lost, right? Because if you can't get this piece right, people, because it contributes so much to the experience. Because really, I should say the experience is where it's won and lost, right? But dealers don't buy cars of practice. No. Right? It's hard to acquire inventory today, right? There's yeah. a shortage out there, right? Great. I haven't it's heard that. Flash, I like that. Right? So, um, <laughs> so we, again, like I said, we're about time. Yeah. If you're buying cars that you don't end up keeping that time, sucks your time to do the research to buy the car. Then it goes in your shop. It sucks someone else's time. And then we've got to get it back in the uh, we go to take control of that transaction, right? So the more we can get right first time, the better off we'll be, the better level of service. Because I think that um, we have the right technology, but we we need to make sure our transportation networks are, are in on point, right? Affordable um, and fast. Yeah. That's really you know that no point in talking to you about that, right? No, there is because as you're talking, here's here's what's going on in my mind. I'm like, okay, this is this is incredible. First, you took the time to visit. Thank you. Second, we have an audience that has carriers. And we have certain carriers on this side of the country, that side in the middle. And what a great opportunity for you or somebody in your organization to come on and tell us, guys, if you're in this area, this region, and you need cars to haul, here's, we're here. Because yeah. as you're telling a story about Ty calls, and he's got eight that he wants to take to the auction. You say, okay, we'll schedule a transportation for Monday morning. Okay, mm -hmm. Ty? Ty says, yeah, sure. Monday afternoon, I just noticed my cards are still there. I'm calling you. Mm -hmm. Hey, right? And, and it happens. That's mm -hmm. real life. Mm -hmm. And what one of my big goals in life is to have carriers that understand. I thought we were going to be there Monday morning at eight. Mm -hmm. That's, where are you? Yeah. We understand things happen, but then how do we deal with that? The communication process. Right. Because you're, and this is what I talk about, guys. You, your, your customer is my customer. Mm -hmm. If you're not happy, I'm not happy. I mean, right? right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so do you, you occasionally run into some challenges. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we do. I mean, you know, there's a lot of uh, things go into picking up and delivering vehicles, both from the transport side and from us. It's important to understand why for us if we said we're going to be there on a Monday morning you know, for example it's important to be there because my sales on a Tuesday so if I don't get that car on a Monday or I get it you know Monday after close of business now I'm not doing a CR and it's going in Thursday and again time is money right time. in a typical environment cars depreciate a lot faster than they yeah. are right now and it would be more money but we're starting to move back I think a little bit towards that world um, here and so the dealers are really keen on getting and that's what we want to partner with them to do is to get their cars into that marketplace fast that's one of the advantages of digital is that it yeah. happen faster, yeah. right? So um, versus the physical sale, we maybe get to take in and have to get detailed when you got to have drivers, right? That's a whole yeah. process where you can't turn that around and only call me on Monday morning to run out the cars and say, "Oh, turn it off on a Tuesday," you know. Um, so um, and then there's a, we another, rely on our transport partners heavily to help us deliver that service. We rely on our transport partners to help us deliver that service. Is that that's right? Did you hear that? Wow. We rely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm assuming sure, now I know what Jay's thinking because Jay and I do this enough. Jay's wondering, okay, after I buy the car, I'm the dealer. I'm uh, with uh, eBuck. I bought it. All right. Is there a transport button on here? Yeah. yeah. A, so quarters? we have a checkout. So checkout. think okay. about if you buy something on Amazon, right? You put it yeah. in your basket. Yeah. So when you're bidding in the lane, what you're actually doing is putting that into your basket. And then once the sale's over again, because it moves fast and a lot of energy, you go into your uh, into your checkout. The cart. And, yep. And you... Yeah, sorry. Exactly. But, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yep. You would go into your cart and you would select... Uh, you, you actually have preset options, but you can change them at any time on any one. So you might be set up to request transport on every vehicle, right? And it will default to that. But let's just say for some reason you're going to be in an area you want to drive that car home, 
right? Then you, you just select or unselect there, and it tells you the cost in the in the checkout process. And then uh, we give, and there's buckets of time frame, right? We can't yeah. nail it okay. down specifically to, you, you know, because every move's different. But, uh, we tell there's you, a three day bucket, if it's gone from Northern day California day to Southern California. Yeah, that's going to be now that makes days, sense. Right? Yeah, Jay's saying Jay's over here screaming that it makes sense. That is so good. <laughs> That, that's good. And it is, it does make sense because I think, you know, we have, that's, that's what Jay talks about a lot of times. He talks about cheap, fast, and good. Is that what it is? Well, yeah. And you can't have all three and, and everything is three? different. Yeah. Uh, fast, cheap, and good. Fast, cheap, and good. Right? Okay. So you can't have all three. Which one do you want? You know? Mm -hmm. And so which buckets two is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which you two, two do you want? And we've, re and we've really learned that uh, most folks would much as they don't like to admit it would drop the cheap oh yeah right uh, drop yeah yeah i mean they would know, they would rather have my stuff you than can cheap. you can usually find a cheaper version of almost anything not just yeah. you know yeah, not yeah. just in our world yeah. right but is it what does the service level look like that's where you get into oh hey i promise you it's going to be there in three to five you know we saved you 20 percent on the cost but it's going to take eight what does that mean to you Right. right. So, so what we do is we have a friend, his name's Tim Scatalis, and he's with Max Digital, which was recently purchased by ACV. Okay. So once a month, he comes on the show. He, we give him his own show on, on my Friday. I'm in the transport parking lot. He's somewhere, and it's called The Melting Block of Ice. That's the name of the show. Mm. And we're talking about interest, and we're talking about why dealers, why auctions, why people want their cars. So back to this transportation and this cheap versus good or fast or whatever it is i'm with you i know i think i know dealers very well and i think dealers understand that if i pay more i, I get it. better service mm -hmm. i know what oh, we he's call got simon's show simon's show here it's he's called, got a show for you it's called the transportation button the transportation button. That's Jay's idea for a Simon show once a month. But <laughs> the transportation button. But, the transportation uh, button. I, I, I'm excited that, you, again, you took the time. But And, and this, this is interesting because, you know, like I said, we, we talked to ACV, back our cars. Uh, and today we did an interview with Ed. What was Ed's? Ed, Ed Curry, NIADA. Ed and Curry, NIADA. Bob Boltman, NIADA, CDK Global. CDK, but they have a uh, dealer mall. 20 group. What it's called? 20 no, group? The dealer mall. Oh, the, the dealer mall. Dealer mall, mall USA. USA. Dealer mall USA. Have you heard about that one yet? No. It's online, another wholesale platform yeah. for mm -hmm. online platform for independent for independent car dealers. Car dealers. Yeah. So He's they can like compete it. with bigger companies. Uh, what I, I like ebook and I like what you guys are doing, especially the idea of buying auctions. I, I, I'm into confirmation buys. This yeah. confirms what I believe, mm -hmm. which is you, you still need a physical option. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You do. Yeah. So uh, let's talk, Simon. We want to so talk to you talk. more. Yeah, we want to talk to you. We want to get together with you. Jay, Jay, you've got all Simon's info? Sure. We'll get a hold of him. Yeah, we'll set, we'll set up a Zoom oh, meeting. Good. We'll set up a we'll Zoom set, meeting. We'll get together sometime. Yeah. And talk talk to you. Lou, Lou, Lou. Exactly. Yeah. We'll talk, talk to Lou. To yeah, me, right? we got oh, it. Oh, Lou. Yeah. Lou. I know Lou. Yep. I love Lou. Yep. He's yeah. cool. Do you know Lou? Thank you, Simon. Well. That's awesome. I'm talk to him on the phone. I didn't meet him in person. Oh, yeah. You'd like him. Cool guy. Oh, awesome. uh, I'm going to let you go. Get okay. back to yourselves. Is that good? Thank you, you good? Time, man. Thank you Simon. So Incredible. Nice. Exciting. Your energy's great. You're outstanding. I appreciate it. appreciate you taking the time to come and talk to you Yeah. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you guys come more in America. Yeah. You got it. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to yeah. ask him about IARA. Do you yeah. think you might make it to the IARA? Uh, August? I'm not, I don't know what that is. I need to come back and tell you about it. Yeah. I think it would be good for you guys to do that. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thanks again, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Bye. Thanks, Simon. That was awesome. Thanks, Great Simon. job, Ty. Great Thank stuff. You. So here's what we'll do. Um, we are in our final stages of wrapping up day one. But if you see somebody you want to talk to, I know you're low on battery. I'm running I'm low on low gas. Low. Yeah. There's dealer mall. So why don't you make a couple mental notes and we've got plenty more to do tomorrow. Look behind you. Look I here. know. Matt Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Matt <laughs> Jones. What's up? Matt Jones. Hey. He's awesome. We love Matt Jones. Oh, man. That's awesome, okay. man. I'm going to see. Wow. Nope. Didn't work. Okay. Remember, uh, you want to do one more? I can do one more. All right, yeah, go ahead. I don't know. No, I no. think I'm good. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
So, I think we did a really amazing job at amazing. NIADA. And I also think we're going live tomorrow too, right? So we got we got a whole other full day tomorrow. We're going to be live at 11 a.m. Pacific back in the media room. So we need to talk to Andy, talk to Troy, and line up another heavy hitter for 11 a.m. Man, we've had, I don't know if you can get any more heavy than we've heavied out. Dude. Oh, I know. We might have heavied out, wow. but, we're, but we're, we got one more day. Just keep going for it. Yeah, okay. we're going to keep going for it. So talk to Jeff. Talk to Colleen. Right? Yeah. Yep. And we'll do it, man. We'll get it. So we got 11 a.m. in the media room. Other than that, um, we are going to be doing. Uh, oh, and you got Brett Scott, Government Affairs at 1130. Hey, what's up, Mike Benavides? Hey. <laughs> hey, Jay. What's up, man? <laughs> so is he live? Like, he's he's right right now. Mike, Mike we're Benavid. Ju- what, we're just what are you doing here? Are you talking to cardios? Yeah, yeah. What's Mike doing? yeah we're, we're just, uh, I'm, I'm making the rounds, you yeah, know, as I do, cool. right? And uh, just yeah. meeting some new folks and seeing all my old friends. And, you know, is this a new friend or an old friend? These are new friends. We haven't decided yet. Is it okay to talk to you? I mean, you look like I could talk to kind of guy I could talk to. What's your name? This guy looks familiar. You know hey, Jay? What's happening? We're in a. Uh, you know Jay? Jason? What's up? That's Jason, yeah, and you? what's your name? I'm Dan. Dan? Yeah. Hey, Dan. I'm Ty. I'm a YouTube. ATI. We, I'm with the used car news. We talk about dealers, auctions, carriers, all kinds of things. I'm a new lender. You're in a lender? Yeah. What do you lend? Money. What else? My body was just out. <laughs> For about three minutes. For, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we stopped. So, uh, you're a lender for what's your who's your best client customer? Well, I'll buy those. Yeah, no, uh, I'll say dealers. Dealers. Better. You gonna put me in there? No, um, you do. You lend money to dealers, like a prime like a one, and uh, yeah, just your boot. I give a credit. I saw it's my friend's boot. Oh, your friend's boot. Okay, but yeah. I have Alwari. He's got a product that most of my repair guys will know about. So, we should name you. Thanks, thanks, Mike. We'll see you. All right, they need to know about it. So, need to know about we came from home for sure. We got a lot of friends anyway here. Yeah, we really don't need it. Food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody wants it. Yeah, as long as you got money, you're good. And the guys in this place now, are, they don't have a lot of love. No, uh, yeah. Well, 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 I like. Well, I would say. I so. No, I really. I say I love the dealer. Twenty years. Yeah. I'm doing it for the dealers, the right way, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's been working right. out. People been accepting it. Good. Like, so thank God. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, just call me Dan. Dan. <laughs> All right. Dan. Thank you, Dan. All right, Dan. Dan. Thank but, you, know, Dan. It's a it's a relief for. Yeah. And you know, everybody needs somebody, right? <clears throat> well, the credit lines out there. People treat you. You know, some dealers treat their customers. Yeah. The way they, uh, you know, they, they can't go anywhere else. Right. Yeah, right. Kind well, of arrogant, kind of like. That's sort of my feeling on how the letters treat you. Right. I get you. And that's a very uh, common feeling. Yeah. Uh, kind of control and kind of smack you around and treat you. Tell you what to do, which yeah. you shouldn't tell people around the business. You know? And they don't let you get healthy, which. Right. You know, their customer base isn't healthy. Yeah. It's not a win-win. No. It's uh, personal That's really experience. cool. That's really cool. I'm glad nice. I got to meet nice. you, Dan. Nice to meet you, Jason. Yep. Have a good one. We'll see you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They've got pretty in order there. Who? You say used car news? Oh, yeah. Come on down. I'll let you. Yeah. Right. They got the paper. You should look at that and put some yeah, well, in there. Yeah, I want to see that because that's, uh, you know. That's, they got a, they've been I around a while, too. I like that. Blue. Like yeah, diamond, man. He's shining like a diamond. Thanks. Awesome. All right. Come on out. See you in a while. Thanks, Thank Dan. You. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. All right. I'm getting a phone call. I know yeah, you're I'm running low on battery. I think yeah. we are at the end of day one. That's a cut. That's going to be a cut. So yeah, for um, sure. let's stay tuned. On uh, Let's keep posted. I'm going to be in and out for the rest of the day. I got some stuff going on here, so uh, it's going to get busy, but we'll be in touch. Huh? Call me. We'll be in touch. Hey. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. That's a wrap. Okay. Final thoughts, Ty. Final thoughts? Uh, I'm really happy. I mean that. Happy to be here at the... NIADA. And the reason is because this this is my people. It really is. And uh, feel really comfortable, really accepted, really encouraged. And right. Just think this is where it's at. And like, I'm, as I'm walking through, I'm thinking, 
You should really just come to the N-I-A-D-A and the I-A-R-A. You know, it, isn't it? It's it's a, that, attendee. It's mind-blowing how great this show is. We didn't even know. I had, yeah, I was... Dude, six months ago, when we did the Automotive Trade Show's 2022 schedule, we didn't even know about this show. No. Now, no, this is a must-attend event. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely. Awesome. Yeah. Good so, people. I mean, and you really can. I, it's good. It is. You, so, there's been some great interviews. I'm super jazzed about some of the folks we've met. Um, keep getting those business cards. Make notes for stuff tomorrow. What we've got, again, 11 a.m. in the media room. We're looking for, for a heavy hitter interview. We do have Brett Scott, Government Affairs, at 1130 at That's the booth. That's in the booth. That's here yeah. in the booth. Um, what and time did you a, say the media room? 10.30? 11 a.m. Oh, 11. Wow, we can't stay there very long. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, well, it'll it'll be like this morning. So we'll touch base again, but your job, talk to Colleen, talk to NIADA, and find a heavy hitter for 11 a.m. in the media room. All right, buddy. We'll All do right. it. All right. And then line Thanks. up some more. We got to, Hey, we're going to be doing walk around at noon. It's ties time from noon to, oh my gosh, noon to two tomorrow is ties time. Two hours mm, of ties time. Mm. Hit, auto sled. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dealer got, ball. I got it. Car now, guys. Car uh, max Tim's auctions. Not there. Car now. ACV. ACV. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Going. So get your notepad. You got a notepad, Ty? Got it. Get your notepad, make some notes. We got a busy day tomorrow, dude. You're killing it. I love it. Thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you, Jack. Have okay, a good man, one. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. All right. Thanks. All right. Thanks, buddy. All right. Back to station identification, camera one. All right. All right. Let's bring it down a notch. You're getting pretty excited. Actually, this is a great show. NIADA Convention and Expo 2022. There's a lot more happening than I realized, and so we're loving it. We're making a lot of connections. That's what it's all about. And, you know, it's not like, you know, let's say you were a transporter and you show up to a show. You're not going to walk in the door and everybody's like, I need my car shipped. It's not how it works. But you talk to enough people, start connecting the dots, and, again, you got that branding ready to go. You'd be surprised what happens. And that's why you'll find, you'll find brokers at the show. You'll find tech companies at the show. Are there any transport companies at the show? I don't know why not. Everybody there has cars to move or buy, or sell, or transport. <laughs> but hey, you know, it's ATI, the Car Shipping Business Channel. My name is Jay. Thanks to you all so much. Again, we're back tomorrow. Here, I'll put the link in the live chat, and that'll be the last thing I do. Um, this will be day two, NIADA, Independent Car Dealer Market Analysis, Independent Car Dealer Heaven. Day two, link. Here it is. It's in the live chat. I'm Jay. I'm out of here. Take care. Get a good night's sleep. And we'll see you in the morning. Peace out, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>